What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 11 hectoseconds, chapter 248 The noise of the world 1. Fire style, how yon purgatory. A golden flame suddenly spit out from Aruka's mouth, and swept away at the crowd with an aura of annihilation. In a moment, he came to six faces with different numbers of black iron rods. The skin was terribly pale and had a uniform orange hair color, in front of the man with eyes in the shape of annual rings. Upon seeing this, the fattest man among the six men suddenly appeared more and more, raising his hands, palms facing the golden flames containing terrifying unstable energy, and then his eyes condensed. Whizzing, with a soft sound, the golden fire wave did not drown everyone as Aruka had expected, but was completely sucked in by the fat man's hands, and disappeared without a trace in an instant, as if it had never appeared before. That's it, absorbing chakra and invalidating ninjutsu. It's pretty powerful, it's almost a nemesis to ninjas who are good at ninjutsu, but... After activating ninjutsu, he used the force field to control and improve his bodily functions. While moving at high speed, Aruka analyzed the fat man's abilities in the blink of an eye. However, for some reason, although the fire style ninjutsu he was accustomed to did not have the desired effect, there was no surprise on his face, but rather a hint of conspiracy. My chakra is not something delicious. Click. The hungry Kido who absorbed Aruka's chakra from the Haoyan purgatory into his body suddenly made a strange noise. The next moment, the hungry Kido's figure suddenly swelled in the eyes of everyone's surprise. Secret technique, Aruka's figure appeared on the surface of the water, his hands quickly formed a seal, and finally his hands were joined together, his consciousness was connected to the spiritual realm at the same time, and his ability was instantly activated. Extreme Dao Beng Yu Technique, along with Aruka's big drink, a silver light suddenly appeared on the hungry Kido's body, which was rapidly swelling. The next moment, only a loud, boom, was heard, and the hungry Kido's body was like a body that contained extremely terrifying energy. The bombs were so common that they burst into pieces. The gushing energy swayed into the sky and flooded the other five realms in an instant. What happened? Why did he suddenly explode? Quote dot 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 quote. Everyone could not help but distract part of their attention to the huge waves rising into the sky, and their perception of Aruka was a little less, and it was these few mistakes that gave Aruka a chance. Aruka made a sword with one hand and slammed it at Kisame, who was in charge of watching the three women, and a short ninja who was hidden in a large cloak, with only a pair of dark green pupils exposed. Gravity cut. Invisible fluctuations gushed out of Aruka's hands, and appeared in front of the two in no time. Under this slash that could temporarily cut off even the space, the bodies of the two were instantly cut off at the waist, and fell down with a, puff, on the ground. However, what came out of the neat cuts of the two men was not the red bloodline, but a pool of transparent water stains and soft treaded mud. The next moment, the body that was cut into two parts was, stained, twice, turned into a puddle of water and mud. Obviously, Aruka's attack did not hit the two deities. The only thing that was cut off was their water bodies and soil clones. However, their deities left a deep crease on the ground after the gravity cut only slowly revealed from the other side. Aruka's sudden attack did not work. The two still maintained the bondage barrier that held the hostages firmly under control. If the barrier they maintained was not broken, even Aruka would not be able to rescue the three women. Universal pull. Advertisement. A huge suction suddenly appeared in the water curtain, and Aruka, who had completely exposed his figure, was instantly sucked, and his figure quickly flew towards the slowly revealed Heavenly Dao. As he was approaching Heavenly Dao, the body of Shira Dao standing beside Heavenly Dao suddenly made a mechanical, click, sound. The next moment, Countless terrifying weapons suddenly appeared, carrying a deadly breath towards Aruka who was flying over. Chop off. Pouch. Accompanied by the sound of a sharp knife breaking into the flesh, Aruka's entire body was instantly cut into four or five segments, but... Bang. The Aruka, which was cut into several segments, suddenly turned into a white smoke in midair, slowly dissipating into the air, and at the same time, a burst of extremely dazzling silver light suddenly erupted from the top of Kisami's head, and in the center of the silver light, it was faint. A faint shadow can be seen. Shadow clone. Not good. The only woman in the organization, Conan, who was closest to the silver light, flashed anxiously on her face. She quickly waved her wings made of paper, and then saw countless paper shurikens flying out of her wings and hurriedly towards Aruka. However, although her reaction was fast enough, she still couldn't compare with Aruka's actions. Aruka directly ignored the paper shuriken, which hardly threatened him, raised his fist, and the silver light quickly gathered towards the fist. When the last silver light was absorbed by the fist, Aruka's eyes suddenly condensed. Strong punch. All his abilities are applied to his body, and Aruka's speed rose to ultimate in a moment. The next moment, his body suddenly turned into a streamer, with the aura of ruining the world, and quickly fell towards the two people below. Boom. The unstoppable silver light hit the ground fiercely, and the violent energy instantly exploded, instantly lifting the surrounding land, making the scene inside completely blurred. What? With two screams, the two figures flew upside down from the center of the explosion. After smashing the trunks of several large trees, they could not stop. Vomit. Kisame spit out a mouthful of blood, and the hideous shark's face, which was obviously different from ordinary people, was dying and dying, while another member of the organization that served as his partner after Itachi died was embedded in the ground. I don't know life or death. Kakuzu, 
who has extremely rich combat experience, knows that this is not the time to marvel at Aruka's strength. He has already made a seal when the others are somewhat stunned. Fire style, work hard. With the launch of ninjutsu, a violent wave of fire suddenly appeared out of thin air, and quickly swept towards the place covered by dust. At the same time, the body of Shira Dao on the other side deformed again, and a wave of fire continued to fly out of the body. The black iron rods, which were like missiles, sank into the dust with a piercing sound of breaking wind. Boom 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 boom, one or two explosions sounded in the dust. At the same time, the beast path completed the technique seal. With a loud, bang, several huge summoning beasts appeared on the lake out of thin air, after making a loud roar cry, rushed towards the place covered by the dust with Tian Dao and Beast Dao. Although Didera and others seemed to Aruka to make him feel a little bit troublesome, they are only relative to him. In fact, none of the people who can join Akatsuki are general, in terms of angle and six paths. After pain started, they could extract chakra as quickly as possible without hesitation. Sasori summoned the puppet of third case cage. Didera also used a lot of clay to squeeze out a lot of clay bombs of different shapes but equally powerful. Hidan was the most direct, I saw him wielding a huge sickle, screaming strangely rushing into the dust, and only he dares to do so in the entire organization, don't worry about being accidentally injured by his companion's ninjutsu. Chapter 249 The Noise of the World 2 When the mushroom cloud gradually dissipated and the dust settled, with the sound of, poof, the excitement and triumph of Didera, who thought that Aruka, a peerless strong man, had died in his own explosive art. The expression froze on his face inexplicably, then he lowered his head mechanically, looking at the black kanai that penetrated through his heart and penetrated his chest with a face full of disbelief. This, how is this possible? The strength receded like a tide. Chakra passed quickly and lost Chakra's maintenance. The white fukuro made of detonating clay suddenly stopped waving its wings. On its back, Didera only felt the whole world spinning around, and in a moment he was completely plunged into darkness, forever sexually lost consciousness. Although he still had his whole cards, Aruka did not give him a chance to use it, stabbing him in nothing, and had a technique that could temporarily block the flow of chakra. As long as he is a ninja, losing chakra is equivalent to losing resistance completely. Ability. When Didara's corpse hit the ground from the air and turned into a lump of meat sauce, not far from his corpse, Aruka's figure slowly appeared, and he slowly emerged from a weird circular black light curtain. Withdrawing his right hand, there was a little bloodline standing on it. Obviously, the fatal blow to Didara was caused by Aruka with his right hand. And the ability to achieve this kind of ignorance of space is even more weird than the ability of the Scarlet Front that Xuanyu once relied on to become famous, and only. A handful of kanai with the spelling text appeared in Aruka's hand again, and the other hand unprinted it with one hand. The next moment, a circular black light curtain once again appeared in front of him. Secret Technique, Virtual Burial With the activation of Aruka's secret technique, the same black light curtain suddenly appeared behind Sasori, and at the same time, Aruka suddenly thrust the special kanai in his hand toward the black light curtain in front of him. Seeing Aruka's actions, Sasori instantly recovered from Didara's bizarre way of death. Years of ninja career made him feel a strong crisis inexplicably, and his body subconsciously wanted to leave his original position. However, his reaction was still a bit slow. Pouch. With the sound of the sharp blade entering the flesh, Sasori's chest was also the same as Didara not long ago, and a blood-stained black kuna suddenly appeared, and his ending was the same as Didara. He did not show his due combat power. When the whole cards are not used, everything is completely lost. He didn't know how Aruka knew about his weakness and was fatal in one blow. He didn't know what this weird technique was, but to him, it didn't matter anymore. Death is the end of life. Instead of thinking about these meaningless things, it is better to look back at the past as your consciousness gradually fades away. After solving the two S-class wanted criminals in a flash, Aruka did not use this assassination technique that could easily change the situation of the battle, not only because the enemy is not an idiot who will not learn from the death of his companions, but more importantly, the cost of this technique is too large, only used twice, and chakra consumes half of it. For the current situation where there is not much chakra, it is really not a good choice. The deaths of Didera and Sasori made everyone's eyes more solemn and jealous, but there was nothing else, not even a trace of the sadness of their companion being killed. In less than five minutes, except that Conan and Kakuzu were unscathed because they were not the priority targets of Aruka, the others were more or less dying. The hungry Kido in the Six Paths pen suffered irreversible damage, Kisame he lost most of his combat power with his new companion, Kenguan, the art combination of Sasori and Didera was killed in seconds, and Hidan was exiled to the turbulence of space just like Orochimaru, life and death are unknown. Paper Shuriken, countless white paper shurikens flew towards Aruka quickly. However, these paper shurikens, whose sharpness and destructive power are no different from those of real shurikens, pose no threat to Aruka at all. They cannot even break through the tenth style. Advertisement. Bang bang bang. The paper shuriken hit the transparent barrier of Tianxi style, making a series of sounds, and then turned into paper, pasted on the barrier, on the paper, you can clearly see a large letter. Burst. Boom. Hundreds of detonating charms exploded at the same time, and the paper shurikens that flew from behind were also spread out at the same time, turning into detonating charms. The successive explosions immediately made the place where Aruka was located was flooded by fire again. That's it, knowing that the power of ninjutsu is not enough to kill me, just use the quantity to try. Feeling that the Tianxi barriers are disappearing, there is no trace of panic on Aruka's face. 
Even if the last layer of defense that perfectly defended Didara's bomb could only withstand a powerful attack from the enemy, these detonating charms in front of him did not threaten him in the slightest. Because, he never had only one whole card. Snapped. Aruka's hands snapped together, and the silver-white chakra quickly poured out of the body, and then only a, buzzing, sound was heard, and the air around Aruka's body suddenly twisted. Secret Technique, Tian Yan. At the moment when the last transparent barrier of the 1010 style was broken by successive explosions, an extremely powerful impact energy suddenly gushed out of Aruka, instantly sweeping everything around, including the explosion, with its powerful impact. The force actually made Conan who was flying in the air unstable, almost unable to maintain his figure. When everything calmed down, Conan's cold eyes suddenly shrank when he looked down. In her sight, Aruka's figure has become extremely blurred, and only a rough outline can be seen. What conceals Aruka's figure is a huge figure that is several tens of meters high and can clearly see its four songs. Transparent giant with eight arms. This is the secret technique of offense and defense developed by Aruka, inspired by Suzano of the Uchiha clan after having the silver white chakra that can be perfectly controlled by the force field. In the giant body formed by chakra, Aruka did not immediately control the giant to launch an attack. Instead, he took out two scrolls from his arms. After entering chakra to open them, two black lights suddenly appeared in the scrolls, instantly turning the unconscious crescent moon into a coma. Izumi covered it, and after a while, the two figures disappeared into the air out of thin air with a peculiar soft noise. After the scroll was completely blank and landed on the ground, Aruka turned around and looked at the Calamus with apologetic expression on Scarface, who was more languid than before. Sorry, please forgive me for being selfish. Chapter 250 The Noise of the World 3 When the mushroom cloud gradually dissipated and the dust settled, with the sound of, poof, the excitement and triumph of Didera, who thought that Aruka, a peerless strong man, had died in his own explosive art. The expression froze on his face inexplicably, then he lowered his head mechanically, looking at the black kunai that penetrated through his heart and penetrated his chest with a face full of disbelief. This, how is this possible? The strength receded like a tide. Chakra passed quickly and lost Chakra's maintenance. The white Fukuro made of detonating clay suddenly stopped waving its wings. On its back, Didera only felt the whole world spinning around, and in a moment he was completely plunged into darkness, forever sexually lost consciousness. Although he still had his whole cards, Aruka did not give him a chance to use it, stabbing him in nothing, and had a technique that could temporarily block the flow of Chakra. As long as he is a ninja, losing Chakra is equivalent to losing resistance completely. Ability. When Didara's corpse hit the ground from the air and turned into a lump of meat sauce, not far from his corpse, Aruka's figure slowly appeared, and he slowly emerged from a weird circular black light curtain. Withdrawing his right hand, there was a little bloodline standing on it. Obviously, the fatal blow to Didara was caused by Aruka with his right hand. And the ability to achieve this kind of ignorance of space is even more weird than the ability of the Scarlet Front that Xuanyu once relied on to become famous, and only. A handful of kanai with the spelling text appeared in Aruka's hand again, and the other hand unprinted it with one hand. The next moment, a circular black light curtain once again appeared in front of him. Secret Technique, Virtual Burial With the activation of Aruka's secret technique, the same black light curtain suddenly appeared behind Sasori, and at the same time, Aruka suddenly thrust the special kanai in his hand toward the black light curtain in front of him. Seeing Aruka's actions, Sasori instantly recovered from Didara's bizarre way of death. Years of ninja career made him feel a strong crisis inexplicably, and his body subconsciously wanted to leave his original position. However, his reaction was still a bit slow. Pouch. With the sound of the sharp blade entering the flesh, Sasori's chest was also the same as Didera not long ago, and a blood-stained black kuna suddenly appeared, and his ending was the same as Didera. He did not show his due combat power. When the whole cards are not used, everything is completely lost. He didn't know how Aruka knew about his weakness and was fatal in one blow. He didn't know what this weird technique was, but to him, it didn't matter anymore. Death is the end of life. Instead of thinking about these meaningless things, it is better to look back at the past as your consciousness gradually fades away. After solving the two S-class wanted criminals in a flash, Aruka did not use this assassination technique that could easily change the situation of the battle, not only because the enemy is not an idiot who will not learn from the death of his companions, but more importantly, the cost of this technique is too large, only used twice, and chakra consumes half of it. For the current situation where there is not much chakra, it is really not a good choice. The deaths of Didera and Sasori made everyone's eyes more solemn and jealous, but there was nothing else, not even a trace of the sadness of their companion being killed. In less than five minutes, except that Conan and Kakuzu were unscathed because they were not the priority targets of Aruka, the others were more or less dying. The hungry Kido in the Six Paths pen suffered irreversible damage, Kisame he lost most of his combat power with his new companion, Kenguan, the art combination of Sasori and Didera was killed in seconds, and Hidan was exiled to the turbulence of space just like Orochimaru, life and death are unknown. Paper Shuriken, countless white paper shurikens flew towards Aruka quickly. However, these paper shurikens, whose sharpness and destructive power are no different from those of real shurikens, pose no threat to Ruka at all. They cannot even break through the tenth style. Advertisement. Bang bang bang. The paper shuriken hit the transparent barrier of Tianxi style, making a series of sounds, and then turned into paper, pasted on the barrier, on the paper, you can clearly see a large letter. 
Burst. Boom. Hundreds of detonating charms exploded at the same time, and the paper shurikens that flew from behind were also spread out at the same time, turning into detonating charms. The successive explosions immediately made the place where Uruka was located was flooded by fire again. That's it. Knowing that the power of ninjutsu is not enough to kill me, just use the quantity to try. Feeling that the Tianxi barriers are disappearing, there is no trace of panic on Uruka's face. Even if the last layer of defense that perfectly defended Didara's bomb could only withstand a powerful attack from the enemy, these detonating charms in front of him did not threaten him in the slightest. Because, he never had only one whole card. Snapped. Uruka's hands snapped together, and the silver-white chakra quickly poured out of the body, and then only a, buzzing, sound was heard, and the air around Uruka's body suddenly twisted. Secret Technique, Tian Yan. At the moment when the last transparent barrier of the 1010 style was broken by successive explosions, an extremely powerful impact energy suddenly gushed out of Aruka, instantly sweeping everything around, including the explosion, with its powerful impact. The force actually made Conan who was flying in the air unstable, almost unable to maintain his figure. When everything calmed down, Conan's cold eyes suddenly shrank when he looked down. In her sight, Aruka's figure has become extremely blurred, and only a rough outline can be seen. What conceals Aruka's figure is a huge figure that is several tens of meters high and can clearly see its four songs. Transparent giant with eight arms. This is the secret technique of offense and defense developed by Uruka, inspired by Suzano of the Uchiha clan after having the silver white chakra that can be perfectly controlled by the force field. In the giant body formed by chakra, Uruka did not immediately control the giant to launch an attack. Instead, he took out two scrolls from his arms. After entering chakra to open them, two black lights suddenly appeared in the scrolls, instantly turning the unconscious crescent moon into a coma. Izumi covered it, and after a while, the two figures disappeared into the air out of thin air with a peculiar soft noise. After the scroll was completely blank and landed on the ground, Uruka turned around and looked at the Calamus with apologetic expression on Scarface, who was more languid than before. Sorry, please forgive me for being selfish. Chapter 251 The Noise of the World 4 No solution anymore. Uruka sighed helplessly, and then slowly took out the last scroll that had not been sealed for a long time from her arms. Upon seeing this, Tiandao suddenly instinctively had an unknown premonition. After a little hesitation, Tiandao suddenly raised his head and looked at Conan in midair. Conan, stay away, don't make any more moves. Hearing that, Conan couldn't help but was taken aback. Why, don't ask, leave now. Tian Dao frowned and said, although Tian Dao still has no emotion on his face, it seems that he uses a super dusty posture to pursue the unreachable idea, extraordinary and sacred, but Conan still feels an unspeakable anxiety. This feeling seemed to be similar. For some reason, Conan's mind somehow came up with the situation of Yahiko's death in front of him, and when that scene came to his mind, the uneasiness that suddenly surged in her heart suddenly became extremely strong. What's wrong, Nagato? The words revealed that she hadn't obeyed Nagato's meaning at all. Hearing that, the heavenly Tao manipulated by Nagato who was hiding in the dark did not speak anymore, but raised her hand and her five fingers suddenly shrank. Invisible force field fluctuations rippled out of his hand. The next moment, Conan, who was not alert to the heavens, suddenly turned black and lost Chakra's maintenance. The paper that made up the wings suddenly fell slowly in the air. After severing Conan's consciousness, Beast Tao suddenly pressed his hands on the ground, and accompanied by a burst of strange black lines, Ninjutsu suddenly activated. Summoning technique. Quack quack. A big bird with a weird appearance and a rinnegan shape in the eyes like six paths appeared out of thin air at the foot of the beast road along with a burst of smoke, carrying the beast road to Conan, who was unable to fall down, and took Conan away for a moment. This has been completely reduced to a battlefield, a dilapidated nameless canyon. Uruka didn't stop Tiandao's actions, although from Tiandao's actions, it can be seen that the woman is different from the cannon fodder just now. He must be some kind of special existence for him, and he has no intention to hold Conan in order to get out of trouble. It is not that Aruka pays attention to fairness, no matter how much he is now a ninja, a ninja has never been fair, the real reason lies in the moment he made up his mind, he did not hesitate to open a certain spiritual realm self-limitation. That's right, even though the scroll hasn't opened yet, he can't turn his head back. Therefore, there is no need to embarrass a woman who has no ambitions about the world like Izumi, but acts for someone who wants to protect. It seems that the preparation process was too boring. He entered Chakra into the scroll to unlock the seal that no one but himself could unlock, and spoke to the heaven not far away. Hey! Your name is Nagato, isn't it? That's it, isn't that guy showing up yet? Nagato knew who Aruka was referring to, but he had no intention of answering. Instead, he suddenly folded his hands. The next moment, as the four and three pens standing behind Tiandao fell to the ground at the same time, the aura on Tiandao suddenly rose. Buzzing. A high-frequency sound spread from the center of the heavenly path and quickly spread to the surroundings, causing the ground around him to crack in a moment, spreading towards Aruka at a very fast speed, and this was just outrageously powerful by his. The phenomenon caused by the influence of Chakra is nothing more. What a boring guy. Uruka curled her mouth, then raised her head inexplicably, and looked at the Calamus not far away protected by the sky, her eyes full of complex colors intertwined with various emotions. Compared with the current situation, the last situation of the previous life is nostalgic. With words that no one understood, all the emotions on Uruka's face turned into bitter smiles and a trace of nostalgia. Patter. Advertisement. 
The sound of the scroll being opened was strangely clear amidst the noise of gravel and debris swayed by the astonishing chakra. The next moment, countless golden texts poured out from the scroll quickly like a flood. Madly poured into Aruka's body, and within a moment, the strong golden light completely submerged Aruka's entire figure. Bang! With a muffled sound, the flying sand and walking stones around Aruka were instantly swept away, replaced by golden spell-printed texts that had nowhere to vent. The entire space seemed to be frozen, not tolerant of any abnormalities, even the ninjutsu that Tiandao was about to release with all its strength. Frozen at this moment, Chakra, who was unable to mobilize ninjutsu at all, could only stand in place and be slaughtered by others. The masquerade masked man who hides in the dark and maintains the enchantment that can trap Aruka at the same time feels an extremely strong threat from the space flooded by golden light and the golden spelling words that continue to emerge, although it is just unfounded. But they nodded tacitly, and then stopped Chakra, who was maintaining the enchantment at the same time. Then the figure of Ju slowly rushed to the ground, and the masked man appeared from the eyes of his orange vortex mask. There was a burst of time and space Uzumaki, which gradually blurred his figure. In their view, to make them feel such a huge threat directly, Aruka's whole cards to be revealed now are absolutely not trivial, and this means that he will inevitably pay an extremely heavy price, otherwise he will not be able to use it until now. It is necessary to know that the power of the technique is directly proportional to the risk, rather than staying here at the risk of being killed, it is better to run away before the technique is activated. Aruka's original strength is already outrageous, and Gui knows how powerful his technique will be at the cost of an unknown risk. However, although they made the most correct choice in a very short time, they were still a step late. This. How is this possible? A look of horror appeared in the eyes of the masked man and Ju at the same time, and the time and space Uzumaki in front of the masked man was gradually disappearing, but his figure remained in place, which means that his invincible time and space ninjutsu has failed, it was even worse. The earth, which was once a part of his body, was now extremely repulsive to him. Half of his body merged into the ground, and the other side remained on the ground, completely unable to move. You have already forced me to this point, do you think I will let you run away? Aruka's incomparable voice rang from his ears, causing the two bodies to tremble at the same time. When they turned their heads and looked past, they could only see the golden word spreading over the entire space at some unknown time. Aruka discovered their way, as well as him. Their voices, and even blocking their ability to use ninjutsu, are obviously achieved through these weird golden texts. Bang! The most central golden light group suddenly split, and then slowly revealed that the body was covered with unknown golden inscriptions, eyes were closed tightly, as if the whole world was in his master's hands, with a touch of extreme peace on his face, and the whole body exuding Aruka with an extremely sacred breath. Masked man and Ju suddenly felt a strong pressure on his face, and his body sank suddenly. The next moment, they were like Nagato hiding in the dark, and they were shocked to find that they could not move at all for some reason, and were completely lost. Resistance, let alone ninjas now, any child can stab them to death with a knife. You are right. I am truly the noise of the world, and I am not accepted by this world, but the same is true for you who are trying to selfishly use personal feelings to influence the future of the world. When talking, Aruka's face still has no wave, as if she has lost all the feelings that a person should have. People can't feel a trace of anger. What can be felt is only the supremacy of course and the remoteness. And the illusion. And being able to be completely devoid of emotions, as if there is as if nothing, there is only one existence in the gap between illusion and reality, and that is. God. Aruka's eyelids on Aruka's face covered with golden inscriptions moved lightly. The next moment, while slowly opening his eyes, he resolutely said with the last trace of the feeling that is due to being a person that is about to disappear. Noise should disappear. Let's start a new era with the disappearance of us who are also the noise of the world. When the words fell, Aruka's eyes were finally completely opened, and when those golden eyes were completely exposed to the air, the last trace of emotion on his face finally dissipated, and this also meant, he has completely achieved the original purpose of superpower research in the previous life, and it was also the lifelong pursuit of most superpowers. Construct the realm of God with the body of non-God. Aruka slowly opened his hands. With his movements, the originally clear sky suddenly became extremely gloomy, countless purple-red lightning flashes in the clouds, and under Aruka's feet, the earth trembled abruptly, and for a moment, Aruka was centered on Aruka forming numerous huge cracks spreading crazily around. Shake, world, click, click, click. The space gradually shattered, and the time before a cup of tea, this space completely broke away from the original world line, completely plunged into the gap between reality and illusion, countless purple and black unknown substances poured in frantically from the cracks in time and space, and kept this piece of space. The original matter in the space was swallowed up, and the non-living matter was swallowed up in a moment. Regarding everything that happened in front of him, Aruka's face still didn't have a trace, and he was still indifferent, ignoring everything. Enlightenment, mortal, with the fall of the indifferent voice, the purple-black material crazily spread to the soul-bearing life form, followed by the masked male and Z, and the skinny Nagato, which was exposed due to the dissipation of the material, was constantly devouring it. In the middle, the body gradually becomes trance, and the Tianyan style that protects the Calamus is gradually broken in the erosion where no existence except gods can be low-grade, slowly revealing the shadow clone and I. A Calamus with the appearance of a sleeping beauty. Chapter 252 The Noise of the World 5 no solution anymore. Aruka sighed helplessly, and then slowly took out the last scroll that had not been sealed for a long time from her arms. 
Upon seeing this, Tiandao suddenly instinctively had an unknown premonition. After a little hesitation, Tiandao suddenly raised his head and looked at Conan in midair. Conan, stay away, don't make any more moves. Hearing that, Conan couldn't help but was taken aback. Why, don't ask, leave now. Tian Dao frowned and said, although Tian Dao still has no emotion on his face, it seems that he uses a super dusty posture to pursue the unreachable idea, extraordinary and sacred, but Conan still feels an unspeakable anxiety. This feeling seemed to be similar. For some reason, Conan's mind somehow came up with the situation of Yahiko's death in front of him, and when that scene came to his mind, the uneasiness that suddenly surged in her heart suddenly became extremely strong. What's wrong, Nagato? The words revealed that she hadn't obeyed Nagato's meaning at all. Hearing that, the heavenly Tao manipulated by Nagato who was hiding in the dark did not speak anymore, but raised her hand and her five fingers suddenly shrank. Invisible force field fluctuations rippled out of his hand. The next moment, Conan, who was not alert to the heavens, suddenly turned black and lost chakra's maintenance. The paper that made up the wings suddenly fell slowly in the air. After severing Conan's consciousness, Beast Dao suddenly pressed his hands on the ground, and accompanied by a burst of strange black lines, ninjutsu suddenly activated. Summoning technique. Quack quack. A big bird with a weird appearance and a rinnegan shape in the eyes like six paths appeared out of thin air at the foot of the beast road along with a burst of smoke, carrying the beast road to Conan, who was unable to fall down, and took Conan away for a moment. This has been completely reduced to a battlefield, a dilapidated nameless canyon. Uruka didn't stop Tiandao's actions, although from Tiandao's actions, it can be seen that the woman is different from the cannon fodder just now. He must be some kind of special existence for him, and he has no intention to hold Conan in order to get out of trouble. It is not that Aruka pays attention to fairness, no matter how much he is now a ninja, a ninja has never been fair, the real reason lies in the moment he made up his mind, he did not hesitate to open a certain spiritual realm self-limitation. That's right, even though the scroll hasn't opened yet, he can't turn his head back. Therefore, there is no need to embarrass a woman who has no ambitions about the world like Izumi, but acts for someone who wants to protect. It seems that the preparation process was too boring. He entered Chakra into the scroll to unlock the seal that no one but himself could unlock, and spoke to the heaven not far away. Hey, your name is Nagato, isn't it? That's it, isn't that guy showing up yet? Nagato knew who Aruka was referring to, but he had no intention of answering. Instead, he suddenly folded his hands. The next moment, as the four and three pens standing behind Tiandao fell to the ground at the same time, the aura on Tiandao suddenly rose. Buzzing. A high-frequency sound spread from the center of the heavenly path and quickly spread to the surroundings, causing the ground around him to crack in a moment, spreading towards Aruka at a very fast speed, and this was just outrageously powerful by his. The phenomenon caused by the influence of Chakra is nothing more. What a boring guy. Uruka curled her mouth, then raised her head inexplicably, and looked at the calamus not far away protected by the sky, her eyes full of complex colors intertwined with various emotions. Compared with the current situation, the last situation of the previous life is nostalgic. With words that no one understood, all the emotions on Uruka's face turned into bitter smiles and a trace of nostalgia. Patter. Advertisement. The sound of the scroll being opened was strangely clear amidst the noise of gravel and debris swayed by the astonishing Chakra. The next moment, countless golden texts poured out from the scroll quickly like a flood. Madly poured into Aruka's body, and within a moment, the strong golden light completely submerged Aruka's entire figure. Bang! With a muffled sound, the flying sand and walking stones around Aruka were instantly swept away, replaced by golden spell-printed texts that had nowhere to vent. The entire space seemed to be frozen, not tolerant of any abnormalities, even the ninjutsu that Tiandao was about to release with all its strength. Frozen at this moment, Chakra, who was unable to mobilize ninjutsu at all, could only stand in place and be slaughtered by others. The masquerade masked man who hides in the dark and maintains the enchantment that can trap Aruka at the same time feels an extremely strong threat from the space flooded by golden light and the golden spelling words that continue to emerge, although it is just unfounded. But they nodded tacitly, and then stopped Chakra, who was maintaining the enchantment at the same time. Then the figure of Ju slowly rushed to the ground, and the masked man appeared from the eyes of his orange vortex mask. There was a burst of time and space Uzumaki, which gradually blurred his figure. In their view, to make them feel such a huge threat directly, Aruka's whole cards to be revealed now are absolutely not trivial, and this means that he will inevitably pay an extremely heavy price, otherwise he will not be able to use it until now. It is necessary to know that the power of the technique is directly proportional to the risk, rather than staying here at the risk of being killed, it is better to run away before the technique is activated. Aruka's original strength is already outrageous, and Gwei knows how powerful his technique will be at the cost of an unknown risk. However, although they made the most correct choice in a very short time, they were still a step late. This. How is this possible? A look of horror appeared in the eyes of the masked man and Ju at the same time, and the time and space Uzumaki in front of the masked man was gradually disappearing, but his figure remained in place, which means that his invincible time and space ninjutsu has failed, it was even worse. The earth, which was once a part of his body, was now extremely repulsive to him. Half of his body merged into the ground, and the other side remained on the ground, completely unable to move. You have already forced me to this point, do you think I will let you run away? Uruka's incomparable voice rang from his ears, causing the two bodies to tremble at the same time. When they turned their heads and looked past, they could only see the golden word spreading over the entire space at some unknown time. 
Uruka discovered their way, as well as him. Their voices, and even blocking their ability to use ninjutsu, are obviously achieved through these weird golden texts. Bang! The most central golden light group suddenly split, and then slowly revealed that the body was covered with unknown golden inscriptions, eyes were closed tightly, as if the whole world was in his master's hands, with a touch of extreme peace on his face, and the whole body exuding Uruka with an extremely sacred breath. Masked man and Ju suddenly felt a strong pressure on his face, and his body sank suddenly. The next moment, they were like Nagato hiding in the dark, and they were shocked to find that they could not move at all for some reason, and were completely lost. Resistance, let alone ninjas now, any child can stab them to death with a knife. You are right. I am truly the noise of the world, and I am not accepted by this world, but the same is true for you who are trying to selfishly use personal feelings to influence the future of the world. When talking, Aruka's face still has no wave, as if she has lost all the feelings that a person should have. People can't feel a trace of anger. What can be felt is only the supremacy of course and the remoteness. And the illusion. And being able to be completely devoid of emotions, as if there is as if nothing, there is only one existence in the gap between illusion and reality, and that is. God. Aruka's eyelids on Aruka's face covered with golden inscriptions moved lightly. The next moment, while slowly opening his eyes, he resolutely said with the last trace of the feeling that is due to being a person that is about to disappear. Noise should disappear. Let's start a new era with the disappearance of us who are also the noise of the world. When the words fell, Aruka's eyes were finally completely opened, and when those golden eyes were completely exposed to the air, the last trace of emotion on his face finally dissipated, and this also meant, he has completely achieved the original purpose of superpower research in the previous life, and it was also the lifelong pursuit of most superpowers. Construct the realm of God with the body of non-God. Aruka slowly opened his hands. With his movements, the originally clear sky suddenly became extremely gloomy, countless purple-red lightning flashes in the clouds, and under Aruka's feet, the earth trembled abruptly, and for a moment, Aruka was centered on Aruka forming numerous huge cracks spreading crazily around. Shake, world, click, click, click. The space gradually shattered, and the time before a cup of tea, this space completely broke away from the original world line, completely plunged into the gap between reality and illusion, countless purple and black unknown substances poured in frantically from the cracks in time and space, and kept this piece of space. The original matter in the space was swallowed up, and the non-living matter was swallowed up in a moment. Regarding everything that happened in front of him, Aruka's face still didn't have a trace, and he was still indifferent, ignoring everything. Enlightenment, mortal, with the fall of the indifferent voice, the purple-black material crazily spread to the soul-bearing life form, followed by the masked male and Z, and the skinny Nagato, which was exposed due to the dissipation of the material, was constantly devouring it. In the middle, the body gradually becomes trance, and the Tianyan style that protects the Calamus is gradually broken in the erosion where no existence except gods can be low-grade, slowly revealing the shadow clone and I. A Calamus with the appearance of a sleeping beauty. Chapter 253 Prelude 1 this is, on a cloud-like mountain in the Thunder Country, Sasuke raised his head and looked at the purple-red lightning flashing in the sky. His handsome face was full of doubts. Even in the ninja world, this kind of heaven and earth vision has appeared for the first time. For some reason, watching this unprecedented thunder and lightning, Sasuke has an unknown premonition inexplicably emerging from the depths of his heart. And this feeling is almost exactly the same as the premonition of losing everything when the Uchiha clan was destroyed eight years ago. After thinking about it, Sasuke shook his head again. Now the most important thing for him is undoubtedly the mentor who allows him to have all of this. Only Aruka can cause his feelings to fluctuate. With Aruka, he can almost use his own the power of the will to change the entire world, it is impossible to make any surprises. After ruling out this possibility, Sasuke never thought of anything that could shake his mind so much. It wasn't until Baihei appeared behind him with a pile of scrolls in his hands and called him, that he recovered from his meditation. Everything is ready, boss. Sasuke nodded, and forcibly retracted his inexplicable uneasy thoughts, and said indifferently, well, I know, put things down and you will act on the original plan with Juyu and the others. If you don't cut it, you have long been accustomed to Sasuke's almost indifferent attitude. In his opinion, only this kind of person who has abandoned the feelings of most humans can truly change the world, not those who rely on trust or other unreliable feelings. A stronger existence. I didn't say anything, Yi Yin put the scroll on the ground, and then winked at the vein who wanted to talk and stopped, so that he didn't want to say anything, and then turned and left. Just as Sasuke didn't have any feelings with him, he helped Sasuke only because he saw in Sasuke the possibility that the once out-of-reach ideals could be realized, so although he recognized Sasuke's leadership position, but for Sasuke's personal fate, he has never had any interest in it. Bai looked at Sasuke's rather thin back with a complicated expression, and moved his lips, but in the end he didn't say anything, and then left without cutting. With Sasuke's current strength, Bai's strangeness can't escape his perception naturally, but he did not notice it, saying nothing, and still looks extremely indifferent, even if he knew what Bai wanted to say. It is not that he is too lazy to control the ideas of his subordinates, but because it is better to let him develop freely than deliberately to achieve some things. Once Sasuke or Bai took the initiative to say it, it didn't make any sense. After Baihei left without cutting, Sasuke completely retracted his attention from the sky that was gradually returning to normal, raised his hand, and as wisps of arc flashed by, the scroll on the ground suddenly floated, and then quickly flew towards Sasuke. Finally, he hovered quietly around Sasuke's body. 
Sasuke slowly closed his eyes, then raised his hand, and knotted a simple technique with one hand. In the other hand, the extremely powerful chakra was gathered, and his fingertips pointed directly at the sky, as if to tear this hazy sky, generally. Buzzing. Advertisement. All the scrolls were opened at the same time, and countless black light emitting inscriptions flew out of the scrolls and spread quickly to the surroundings. Then Sasuke suddenly opened his eyes. The pupils that were originally like a black hole that could swallow everything suddenly changed from two pairs of Mangekio Sharingan. The new Eternal Mangekio Sharingan was formed by fusion, and with the emergence of Eternal Mangekio Sharingan, a purple ray of light soared into the sky, and in a moment a chakra giant with wings, a height of 100 meters, and hands unprinted was formed. Cuckoo. Black inscriptions continued to pour into the complete Suzano, making the original translucent giants covered with black inscriptions, making them even more weird and powerful. Rumble. The sky that had gradually returned to calm with the disappearance of the purple-red lightning was suddenly covered with haze again. At the same time, the black inscription on Suzano suddenly burst out with a strange black light. The next moment, countless dark lightning suddenly descended from the constantly surging sky. Strangely, from the time when those unheard of black lightning fell completely to the present, there was no sound, and there was no muffled sound in the clouds when lightning and thunder were about to flash. Obviously, this is not a natural phenomenon at all, but the result of the ninjutsu used by Sasuke. The most weird thing is that the black lightning fell on the ground, and it did not smash a huge hole like ordinary lightning, but there was no movement at all, as if it had never appeared before, and no one knew where these weird lightning went. Where did it go? When the black lightning in the sky disappeared completely and the scroll was completely blank, Sasuke stopped his movements after falling to the ground feebly. However, he still did not release Suzano, and his eyes remained in the state of Mangekio Sharingan, just sitting cross-legged. On the ground, inexplicably, those scarlet pupils suddenly flashed with a complex color. What suddenly appeared on Sasuke's face seemed to be nostalgia for the past, or confusion about the present, or even anxiety about the future. Perhaps only Aruka, who knows Sasuke best, can understand his expression at this time. After a while, the black light on Suzano's body gradually faded, but instead of disappearing with the black lightning, it gradually turned into a stream of black, slowly rushing towards Sasuke below. When the last inscription poured into Sasuke's body, Suzano suddenly turned into a deep purple light, converging around, forming six huge beams of light filled with mysterious inscriptions, and then the surface of the beam suddenly became lighter. Squirming lightly, then countless chains suddenly flew out of the beam of light, and slammed into the ground around Sasuke in a series of loud noises. Suzano's changes seemed to remind Sasuke, freeing him from inexplicable thoughts. Sasuke no longer hesitated, his hands suddenly joined, his consciousness instantly linked to the spiritual realm, and at the same time he mobilized chakra in his body madly. The next moment, accompanied by several yin and yang jade suddenly appeared on his forehead, as well as the generation of his own personal reality, insert the chains on the ground trembled violently. Let the starting point of hatred, the scattered chains of hatred, all converge here. Speaking to himself, Sasuke's eyes suddenly condensed, his fingers danced fast, his movements were so fast that he could only see a trace of afterimages, and in a moment, he completed hundreds of shuji seals. The ninjutsu that can change the world follows. The completion of the last technique seal was launched quietly. Chapter 254 Prelude 2 How so? Izumi and Shuanyu's faces were dull, their eyes seemed to be dead, without a trace of anger. I saw the scene in front of me, as if it had been scraped out with some kind of tool, a smooth and flat semicircular huge pit. A week ago, here was a rather refreshing canyon, but at this time, in addition to smooth outside of the land, nothing is left, there is no trace of life at all. This is not the collapse of the wall after a fierce war, but a phenomenon that occurs when the entire space collapses, and everything in this space will be completely submerged in the intricate turbulence of time and space as the space collapses, and can live. What comes down is only the existence between life and non-life. This is the knowledge Aruka once talked about on a whim in her spare time, but at this time, this knowledge is completely useless except for enabling her to recognize a certain fact that she is extremely unwilling to or dare to recognize. That's right, here is Akatsuki threatening Aruka with them as hostages, and then there is a battle in which they have only sporadic memories but can instinctively feel the tragic situation. Before being transferred by Aruka time and space, their only impression of that battle, there was only the land that was affected by the battle and became extremely tragic, and they had no memory of the last scene before Aruka disappeared. After two years of arduous practice, Quan Meihao has not easily mastered the Shanshu and the fully mature Mangekio Sharingan. He has the pupil power that is complete and powerful enough to match the crescent moon before losing his power. In other words, she no longer has to worry about a series of hidden dangers caused by the resurrection. She wanted to return to the embrace she had been away for two years in a hurry, but the reality easily made her two-year effort completely meaningless. Click. Izumi knelt and sat on the ground weakly. After a while, a ring that had completely lost its luster and became extremely dim fell from her palm that did not have a trace of grip. With several crisp sounds of, ding ding ding, it slowly fell to the ground. The feet of the person beside him finally lay quietly on the ground like a waste product that no one wanted. Looking up along the pair of small cloth shoes, standing beside Quan Mei is a pair of arrogant breasts. The back of the green jacket has a conspicuous, gambling, character, pale blonde hair, and a gorgeous face. Woman. She is the granddaughter of 1st Hokage and the heroine Tsunade who returned to the village after the death of 3rd Hokage to take over as 5th Hokage and quickly stabilize the turbulent village. However, 
Tsunade's face at this time did not have the boldness of the past. Instead, it was an inexplicable gloom. Izumi, can that ring really confirm that Aruka has died in battle? Quote dot 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 quote. There is no response, Quan Mei still has a dull face, her original agile face has lost all its look, like a dead tree waiting to be weathered. Although the crescent moon on the other side is not collapsed like Quan Mei, it is not much better. Go, from her eyes that have completely lost focus, anyone with a discerning eye can see that she is also heartbroken and dying like Quan Mei. Tsunade wanted to say more, but Jiraiya, who was standing next to her, suddenly put a hand on her shoulder, and then motioned her not to speak with his eyes. Tsunade thought for a while, then reluctantly gave up the plan to continue talking, and then sighed inexplicably. The facts are already in front of us. Although we can't make a conclusion before seeing Aruka's bones, Aruka can only write, missing, in Konoha's ninja file and then close the file, but who is Aruka? Given his abilities and the close relationship between Quan Mi and him, how could Quan Mi not know his basic situation? And Tsunade has heard of this kind of ring. Except for Izumi, every student of Aruka has basically this kind of magical ring that can greatly enhance physical fitness. In fact, before Izumi wakes up, the body holding the ring now the trio, Konohamaru and Hanada's sister Hanabi, the five newly acquired disciples of Aruka, have all come to her, saying that the practice ring suddenly loses all its effectiveness. This does not match the permanent effect Aruka said at the beginning, so they are very worried about whether something happened to Aruka. At that time, Tsunade just dealt with it casually, and didn't take it seriously. You know that Aruka, in the eyes of someone like her who has made a reputation in the ninja world, is an existence, unreachable by manpower, how many people can embarrass him in the entire ninja world? Even if you have mental arithmetic and want to subdue Aruka, it is impossible without the strength of her grandfather, Senju Hashirama, the god of the ninja world. Advertisement. How many people in the current ninja world can reach the strength of the gods of the ninja world back then? In other words, is there? No. Anyway, Tsunade has never heard of anyone who can reproduce the style of his grandfather, so even if the two women who have a great relationship with Aruka, Izumi and Shuanyu, had an accident at the same time, she didn't worry much. In her opinion, trouble with Aruka was pure death. She didn't need to worry about Aruka's affairs at all. However, as soon as Izumi woke up, she looked extremely anxious and ran out of the village. After Tsunade and Jiraiya heard about it, they suddenly felt something was wrong. It seemed that she had thought things too simple. Later, Zanyu explained it a little bit more calmly. The situation fully proved their unbelievable speculation. Aruka will have an accident. That's strong enough to use his own power to annihilate a big country, and even subvert the entire pattern of the ninja world, there is actually someone who can put him in a dangerous situation. For Aruka, Tsunade doesn't have a good impression with Zillai, because his behavior is too rash, most of the benchmarks of action are personal feelings, and his plans are too shocking and unacceptable, but it is impossible to say that they hate Aruka. After all, Aruka's abilities are there, and they are indeed loyal to Konoha. He also made a great contribution to Konoha. All the students he taught were Konoha's pillars, as long as he was there, Konoha would never be in danger of extinction. These two points alone are enough to prove Aruka itself, value. And even though Aruka's behavior makes them unhappy, they still approve of being a human being. Therefore, now that they know that Aruka can almost be defined as death, they are naturally unhappy. For Konoha, this is definitely an immeasurable huge loss. Faced with such a huge loss, it would be a ghost if they were happy to be happy. The four of them stood quietly on the edge of this lost space for half an hour. After that, Tsunade exchanged eyes with Jiraiya, meaning that it was time to persuade these two poor women to leave, right? After all, people always have to look forward. They can't do it for a lifetime, right? Jiraiya hesitated for a moment, thought for a while, and finally nodded. After getting Jiraiya's advice, Tsunade suddenly stopped hesitating and wanted to persuade the two girls to leave. But when she was about to talk, a dark shadow suddenly flashed across her and Jiraiya's unawareness, and slammed into the pretty face of Quan Mi with a gray face, until it fell on the ground, Jiraiya and Tsunade he recovered from the speed at which they could hardly react even at this level, and then looked at the true face of the black shadow that could magically restore Quan Mei to a gleam. I saw Izumi appearing in front of Izumi, staring at her, was a black cat with a rounded face with a humane disdainful color, a little bigger than a normal cat, and the whole body was pitch black with hair. The black cat is so shiny that people can't help but want to reach out to touch it at a glance. The black cat gave them an inexplicable and familiar feeling. They seemed to have seen it somewhere, but before the two of them had time to think about it, the black cat that suddenly appeared and attracted Azumi's attention suddenly raised its black front paws, like a ninja the two claws closed together, and the next moment, the two suddenly felt a strange chakra fluctuation that had both their sense of sight exploding, and they couldn't help but froze at the same time. This kind of chakra is. Xiao He didn't bother to pay attention to the surprise of the two. For these two prestigious Kona Hasanin, it has no interest at all. It concentrates on running and continuously absorbs from someone. Only his summoning beast can digest and use it for himself. Chakra. When chakra was spread all over the body, the air around Xiao He's body suddenly became blurred. Forbearance. Mimicry technique. Bang. With a clear voice that everyone was completely unfamiliar with, but felt extremely crisp and beautiful, a cloud of white mist suddenly appeared around Xiao He's body, completely hiding it in it. Chapter 255. Are you, Xiao He, seeing the beautiful girl who appeared suddenly in front of me, with long black hair and two hairy ears on her head, she was full of youthful and beautiful breath. 
Although there have been general guesses in the center of Izumi Mei's heart, that one does not correspond to the girl. The pretty faces on top and bottom are still full of incredible colors. Hearing Quan Mei's words, Xiao He suddenly curled his lips. When his face was still in the form of a black cat, he looked very unwelcome to Quan Mei, and said with a bit of discomfort. Who else could I be? The girl did not deny that, Xiao He, was given to her casually all the way, the name was so explosive, although she had a decent name before she was captured and forced to carry out the live experiment, but in her after deciding to serve Aruka who had saved her, she had completely abandoned the past, only because her past left her with only painful memories. She is now Aruka's summoning beast and his pet, nothing more. Xiao He made a special trip this time, not to expose her special posture that can arouse men's special interest. She directly ignored Tsunade and Jiraiya who looked at her curiously, turned her head, and glanced not far away. Xuanyu glanced at her without a slight reaction to her arrival. Then, in the eyes of everyone, he still said to Quan Mi in an unwelcome tone. Don't worry, the master is not that easy to die. Although I don't know where he is now, the imprint of the contract he left on me has not disappeared, indicating that he must still be alive in this world now, you. Before she finished speaking, Quan Mi suddenly grabbed Xiao He's bare shoulders with her extremely fast hands, and said eagerly. Really, are you telling the truth? Xiao He, because of the emotional out of control of the ten fingers, ten clear marks were left on Xiao Black and White's shoulders. Hum, it hurts. Xiao He let out a painful cry, and the next moment, as a silver light flashed, Quan Mei, who seemed crazy, only felt a burst of power coming from her. Before she realized what was going on, her body fell to the side involuntarily. If Aruka were here, the scene must be frightened at this time, because the technique Xiao He used just now was almost the same as his, repulsion field, except for the magnitude of its power. Obviously, Xiao He can use Aruka's technique, an ability that cannot be copied, but after using Chakra as a supernatural power, he can be grafted onto the summoning beast that has a contract with him. However, Izumi did not care about this. After she was bounced off, she stood up immediately, and then eagerly ran towards Xiao He who was rubbing her shoulders. For her now, no matter what secret Xiao He had, the situation with Aruka. None are comparable. I see. The familiar smell of gasoline was permeated in the air, the haze still lingering in the sky, and countless mechanical wastes that had not yet been completely rusted underneath, Aruka sighed leisurely in this scene incompatible with the ninja world. I, I'm back again, Xiao He is right, Aruka is indeed alive, but she is not completely right, because the world he is now in is not the chain of countless hatred and the mainstream of despair, but the world of his life. The starting point, the world that carries his countless memories of joy or sorrow the world of science and technology. The reason why Aruka appears here is entirely the result of various accidental staggering. Advertisement. At the moment when Tianyanshi collapsed in the erosion of time and space and Shadow Clone disappeared, all the memories in Shadow Clone poured into the divine body that had been completely deified at that time, and directly conflicted with the will of God. The result was that the state of deification was lifted. The partitioned space lost the maintenance of divine power and was completely trapped in the space vortex. After the deification state was lifted, he fortunately passed through the turbulence of space, and finally returned to the world he was very familiar with. It sounds like he has simply returned to this world, but only he knows the risks involved. A slight wrong step would bring his life to a complete end. If he does not leave the shadow clone, who has a part of his consciousness, his existence will be completely wiped out because of his complete deification, if he is involved in the spatial turbulence when passing through the spatial vortex, he will also be torn into pieces, completely disappear. However, although lucky to survive, Aruka can't be lucky. Just because this familiar world has no place for him. Everyone needs a harbor where they can rest, otherwise it is easy to lose their way, even if it is better than Aruka, but now, he can only feel the breath familiar to him in this world, facing the cruel reality. He can do nothing but a wry smile. His home, from the moment his relationship with Izumi was confirmed, was Konoha's uncommon apartment. Cause space shock again, and then return to the ninja realm. Don't be funny, it's great luck to survive the turbulence of time and space. How can I expect to pass through it again? Even if the master can recover from the deification state, it is impossible to return to the ninja world. You should know that there are countless worlds outside the space-time turbulence, and only one of them is the entrance to the ninja world. Even if luck bursts through the space turbulence again, the probability of being able to return to the ninja world is very slim. Well, as Aruka sighed at the status quo, a sweet whisper suddenly sounded from the side, which made Aruka stop thinking temporarily and turned his head to look. It was a young girl wearing white overalls and chestnut bangs. It was a delicate face that Aruka was familiar with before going to the ninja world. That's right, after the collapse of the space of gods, Aruka is not the only one who survived. Although I don't know what will happen to Nagato and the masked man in the space Uzumaki, the innocent girl Chengpu is lucky to follow. Aruka came together into this world that was unfamiliar to her. Looking at Chengpu's pretty face exactly like Mengin, a complex color gradually appeared on Aruka's face. In the ninja world, Aruka could almost perfectly restrain the feelings that were enclosed in the dust when facing the Calamus. However, in this world with dream sounds, facing the beauty of the spring that looks exactly like her, Aruka can calm down. Ghost. Chengpu's eyelids moved, and then slowly opened her eyes with a faint moan. The next moment, before she could adjust to the scene in front of her, a loud noise suddenly came from a distance. 
Boom. The earth trembled suddenly, and while awakening the Calamus completely, it also made Uruka frown. Putting down his greetings to the Calamus for a while, Uruka raised his head and looked at the mushroom cloud rising in the distance. At the same time, feeling the suffocating energy fluctuations, he suddenly clenched his fists for some reason. Chapter 256 The Beginning of the End 1. The movement of the world will not stop because of the disappearance of a person or an organization. Just as Izumi and Crescent Moon, and Shaohei was rushing about Uruka's whereabouts, Konoha suddenly happened something strange. Including the special Jonin, all ninjas below Jonin have lost the ability to refine chakra for some reason, and have completely become a slightly stronger ordinary person. Jonin is not much better, the refined chakra can be used only half of the usual, and the remaining half will disappear inexplicably. Even the elite Jonin who is the mainstay of the village has been affected. Chakra will always have a part not under their control, but compared with Jonin and those Chunin and Jenin who have completely lost their power, they can clearly feel that they are not affected by themselves. The controlled part of chakra will rush underground very quickly. Chakra is the sum of physical energy and mental energy. Refining chakra consumes both physical and mental power. Therefore, the current situation is that Chunin and Jenin are completely useless. Jonin can barely exert half of his usual combat power. Elite Jonin has only the past. The level of ordinary Jonin is not affected by this sudden change, only the strong who has enough to inherit the name of the shadow, one of the legendary Sanin, fifth Hokage Tsunade, and the unique Konoha in the entire ninja world, the strongest Jenin, with spiritual realm and immune to all illusions. What does it mean to be unable to distill chakra? Quite simply, it means that you cannot use ninjutsu, it means that you lose your capital as a ninja, and that your life as a ninja loses its meaning in the past. That's right, Konoha still has the capital of ninjas, only the small group of people who stood at the top of the pyramid of ninjas is the main combat power in the village, and this also means that if the status quo is allowed to develop, the entire ninja world will be completely destroyed because of the loss of the successor. We must know that although Chunin and Jenin are strong in strength, they are no different from miscellaneous fish. Most of them are used as cannon fodder to facilitate Jonin's actions. However, it is undeniable that they are also indispensable for the future of their respective villages, exist. Tsunade is able to resist this weird phenomenon purely because of its own strength, but Shikamaru and their strength are only the elite Jonin, but they are immune to this indifferentiated phenomenon, which is a bit intriguing. After all, although they are immune to illusions, it does not mean that they are immune to all ninjutsu. The technique that restricts ninjas from refining chakra is obviously not illusion. Why are they the only exceptions? So, including Naruto, all eight people were called to Hokage's office. Can you limit the ninja's ability to refine chakra? Shikamaru squeezed his chin, looking thoughtful. Any clue, Shikamaru? Tsunade asked Shikamaru with a heavy face. Uruka had just had a clue about what happened in the village. If she could still calm down, there would be ghosts in the village. Shikamaru shook his head, let's not mention the nature of the technique. If you don't know the purpose of the enemy and don't even know what the enemy looks like, no matter how you analyze it, there will be no results. Shikamaru is right, although we are indeed not affected in any way, this does not mean that this has anything to do with the enemy's purpose. Without any clues, any of our actions will have no meaning. What we can do now, only to maintain enough energy to deal with the enemy's actions. Shino pushed his sunglasses and spoke in his unique tone. Upon hearing this, Tsunade sighed in disappointment. After the enemy starts to act, it is probably meaningless to know their purpose. At this moment, Naruto, who kept his head down and didn't know what he was thinking, suddenly raised his head, and under his calm gaze, there was something hidden that no one could understand except Hinata. Advertisement. It's Sasuke. He started to act. Without hearing any emotional words, Naruto paced to the window, looked out the window inexplicably, and said to himself. Except for Mr. Uruka, only Sasuke is capable of accomplishing this miracle. Moreover, since that guy's purpose is the entire world, then the most direct and effective way to make everyone lose their power is when the entire world has only when he has power alone, he is an absolute existence, which is what he says God. Hearing this, everyone couldn't help but was stunned. After reacting, Shikamaru's face gradually showed a touch of light, so that's it, let the world be silent in absolute power. People have been silent in the fear of absolute power. This is also a kind of peace. Shino agreed with Shikamaru's statement and added. Sasuke, is he so strong? Little Sakura bit her lip and said with a complicated expression. The other people who had reacted were silent for a while. They used to have the same starting point as Sasuke, the same teachers, and the same training. Now, although they have the name of genius, they have the strength of their parents at a young age, but compared with Sasuke, the difference in strength is still huge. Differently. If this technique that can block most of the ninjas is really initiated by Sasuke, then the distance between them and Sasuke will become completely out of reach, and there is no comparison at all. What causes this gap is not the aptitude and talent, but what Naruto and Sasuke have, and what they lack the idea. Although they all know that this cannot be blamed on themselves, nor the teacher, in a sense, not having an idea is a good thing, because it can only be obtained by people with special experience after receiving special guidance or accidental awakening. Things, and not having that special experience, isn't it a good thing? Who wants to experience the dark childhood of Naruto? Who wants to see the death of his loved ones in the hands of the most trusted and admired person like Sasuke? However, knowing that both Sasuke and Naruto have reached unprecedented heights, their inability to touch their backs has nothing to do with their own efforts, but they still can't help but feel lost. 
Students who are also Aruka, how can they be indifferent to such a big gap now? Seeing Naruto mention Sasuke, the others fell silent, Tsunade suddenly smiled bitterly, although she was not the first time she saw this scene, she could understand their feelings, if it was normal, she would naturally have no objection, but when is it now? Now there are no ninjas in the village that can come in handy. The village is facing an unprecedented crisis. Regardless of whether the enemy is Sasuke or not, the top priority is to quickly release this incredible technique and release their imprisonment, otherwise they will not be able to execute the commission after losing their power. If the mission is concerned, there is no need for an enemy to invade, and the village will lose its existence because it loses its foundation in the world. However, when Tsunade coughed deliberately and was about to say something, the office door was suddenly pushed open, and then Shizun, holding a document in both hands, suddenly appeared behind the crowd, and then eagerly shouted to Tsunade. Tsuna, Master Tsunade, just now, Master Reikage, Master Mizukage, Master Suchikage, and Master Fungying sent urgent calls, saying that you have something to do with you. Please contact them now. Upon hearing this, Tsunade frowned subconsciously, and a thought suddenly came to mind. Why at this time, could it be that? Chapter 257. The question Shikamaru asked is something other people want to know. You know, although Sasuke defected and left the village, it does not mean that they have to be hostile to Sasuke. After all, they are different from ordinary ninjas who can only think about problems from the standpoint of the village. While considering the standpoint of the village, the Aruka's feelings must be taken into consideration, and Aruka's attitude towards Sasuke's actions is recognized. If they only consider the problem from the perspective of the village, who knows what Aruka would think. Shikamaru has been trying to talk to Aruka these days, but couldn't find him. In the end, he had no choice but to ask Tsunade. However, the news was that Aruka had taken a trip to Kwanmei and did not know when he would return. In other words, in the current situation, you can only judge how to act through your own thinking. Whether it takes into account the village's position and Aruka's attitude and does not act on Sasuke, or helps Naruto stop Sasuke, directly depends on whether Naruto's ideas can be fully recognized by them. They have also experienced a lot in the past two years and have their own understanding of the status quo of ninja, so they are not as repulsive to the path Sasuke chose as they did two years ago, but they can't get rid of what they have. Shackles, can't move in the right direction in his mind like Sasuke. But they have a certain expectation in their hearts. Perhaps Naruto's philosophy has a reason for their actions. After all, Naruto has always brought them unexpected, accidents. Noting the flash of anticipation in everyone's rather solemn eyes, Naruto thought about it for a while and knew what was going on. My philosophy, whispering, Naruto thought for a while, and after organizing the language, he spoke slowly. However, he didn't directly cut into the subject, but talked about another topic in a rather nostalgic tone. The proposition that Mr. Aruka left for me and Sasuke is about the current state and future of the ninja world. This is the basic point of my philosophy in Sasuke. Therefore, even if the process is different, our goal is the same, that is peace. It's a heavy subject, Shino interjected. Yeah, it's so heavy that I don't know what to do. It's much harder than being a Hokage. Until now, I still don't know how to resolve the increasingly complex hatred between ninjas over time, but, even so. After a pause, Naruto suddenly raised his head and looked at the sky that became extremely hazy under the influence of the worldwide ninjutsu performed by Sasuke. His face was full of firmness, without a trace of confusion. I still can't agree with Sasuke's way of completely rejecting the human heart and treating people as signs. Although there is an undeniable dark side in human nature, darkness is not everything about human nature. I believe that no matter how the times change, people's nature to pursue happiness is not. It will change, and when good wishes become the mainstream of everything, peace will come. Therefore, my philosophy is. Before Naruto finished speaking, Shikamaru suddenly said. Let the good wishes in people's hearts become the mainstream of everything, and guide the arrival of the era of peace, right? Hearing this, Naruto couldn't help but froze for a moment, and then looked at Shikamaru in surprise, as if he didn't expect Shikamaru to say what he was going to say next. After a while, in the eyes of everyone, Naruto nodded slightly, agreed with Shikamaru's guess, and then continued. Well, yes, that's what I think. Although there is no plan for action and no specific method yet, the most important thing now is to stop Sasuke who is denying people's hearts, otherwise everything will be impossible to talk about. So. At this point, Naruto's face suddenly became extremely serious, looked around the crowd, and said every word, are you willing to help me? Advertisement. Hearing this, Hanada was the first to stand up and walk to Naruto's side, his face as shy as ever, but his blushing face was full of unshakable determination. Hanada's action benchmark has nothing to do with the village's position, nor does it involve the conceptual level. The reason why she did not hesitate to stand beside Naruto was purely for the feeling that had become her instinct. Others naturally knew this. Therefore, Hanada's choice cannot be their reference. Shikamaru glanced at each other, exchanged glances, and finally shrugged as Aruka usually does. Upon seeing this, the corner of Naruto's mouth suddenly hooked slightly. Both are partners who have grown up in Aruka's special training together. They don't need any words at all. They only need a look or a simple gesture to understand what the other party wants to understand. And this is the precious wealth that Aruka allowed them to dig in the process of growing up, and it is also a kind of human nature that Naruto said is true, good and beautiful. Looking at their familiar faces, Naruto's heart was warm, and the decision in his heart became firmer. Such a beautiful thing, I will never let you deny it completely, Sasuke. 
Comma 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 comma. Just after Naruto rushed over through Shiro's leaked information and Shiro returned to where he should stay as a core member of the organization, Sasuke opened his eyes from the long-time closed eyes and stood up. Well, Sasuke groaned suddenly and shook his body a little unstable, then raised his hand and gently rubbed his forehead a few times, his expression a little bit painful. It is still a bit reluctant to cover the whole world with perception in the current state. But fortunately, this level should not affect the next action. He shook his head and shook off the heaviness in his mind. After the will became lighter, Sasuke retracted his hand on his forehead. Through the ubiquitous electric field, whether it is the five shadows who are currently conducting an emergency five shadow meeting in the country of iron, or the organizational forces that are secretly planning for their own purposes, the outline of the entire world has emerged. In Sasuke's mind. However, there is one exception. Even if Sasuke can clearly perceive every move of a strong man who has resisted the returning to the source of a technique, he cannot perceive the whereabouts of Aruka, who has not reappeared since the day the plan started. Regarding this, Sasuke only sighed about the power of Aruka, and didn't think much about it. After all, in his eyes, Aruka has always been an insurmountable existence. This instinctive awe has never changed, so naturally he will not think about Aruka. Did something happen? Then, it's almost time to start the next step. Sasuke said to himself, the next moment, he slowly raised his hand and bit his right thumb with a, click, and then the fingers of both hands changed rapidly, completing a series of surgical seals at a speed almost invisible to the naked eye. After the last seal was completed, Sasuke suddenly pressed his blood-stained thumb on the palm of his left hand. Accompanied by the generation of Sasuke's personal reality, circles of blood-red runes hovered around Sasuke's body. After a while, the runes suddenly appeared. The light was shining, and the space was completely submerged in an instant. In this extremely weird blood-red light, Sasuke suddenly raised his hand, and with his movements, the hazy sky suddenly sounded like a roar of beasts, and there seemed to be something terrifying in the dark clouds. Fat, about to tilt downwards, the terrifying power, so that all people living under the sky feel inexplicably heart palpitations. Chapter 258 The Beginning of the End 3 the question Shikamaru asked is something other people want to know. You know, although Sasuke defected and left the village, it does not mean that they have to be hostile to Sasuke. After all, they are different from ordinary ninjas who can only think about problems from the standpoint of the village. While considering the standpoint of the village, the Aruka's feelings must be taken into consideration, and Aruka's attitude towards Sasuke's actions is recognized. If they only consider the problem from the perspective of the village, who knows what Aruka would think. Shikamaru has been trying to talk to Aruka these days, but couldn't find him. In the end, he had no choice but to ask Tsunade. However, the news was that Aruka had taken a trip to Kwanmei and did not know when he would return. In other words, in the current situation, you can only judge how to act through your own thinking. Whether it takes into account the village's position and Aruka's attitude and does not act on Sasuke, or helps Naruto stop Sasuke, directly depends on whether Naruto's ideas can be fully recognized by them. They have also experienced a lot in the past two years and have their own understanding of the status quo of ninja, so they are not as repulsive to the path Sasuke chose as they did two years ago, but they can't get rid of what they have. Shackles, can't move in the right direction in his mind like Sasuke. But they have a certain expectation in their hearts. Perhaps Naruto's philosophy has a reason for their actions. After all, Naruto has always brought them unexpected, accidents. Noting the flash of anticipation in everyone's rather solemn eyes, Naruto thought about it for a while and knew what was going on. My philosophy, whispering, Naruto thought for a while, and after organizing the language, he spoke slowly. However, he did not directly cut into the subject, but talked about another topic in a rather nostalgic tone. The proposition that Mr. Aruka left for me and Sasuke is about the current state and future of the ninja world. This is the basic point of my philosophy in Sasuke. Therefore, even if the process is different, our goal is the same, that is peace. It's a heavy subject, Shino interjected. Yeah, it's so heavy that I don't know what to do. It's much harder than being a Hokage. Until now, I still don't know how to resolve the increasingly complex hatred between ninjas over time, but, even so. After a pause, Naruto suddenly raised his head and looked at the sky that became extremely hazy under the influence of the worldwide ninjutsu performed by Sasuke. His face was full of firmness, without a trace of confusion. I still can't agree with Sasuke's way of completely rejecting the human heart and treating people as signs. Although there is an undeniable dark side in human nature, darkness is not everything about human nature. I believe that no matter how the times change, people's nature to pursue happiness is not. It will change, and when good wishes become the mainstream of everything, peace will come. Therefore, my philosophy is. Before Naruto finished speaking, Shikamaru suddenly said. Let the good wishes in people's hearts become the mainstream of everything, and guide the arrival of the era of peace, right? Hearing this, Naruto couldn't help but froze for a moment, and then looked at Shikamaru in surprise, as if he didn't expect Shikamaru to say what he was going to say next. After a while, in the eyes of everyone, Naruto nodded slightly, agreed with Shikamaru's guess, and then continued. Well, yes, that's what I think. Although there is no plan for action and no specific method yet, the most important thing now is to stop Sasuke who is denying people's hearts, otherwise everything will be impossible to talk about. So. At this point, Naruto's face suddenly became extremely serious, looked around the crowd, and said every word, are you willing to help me? Advertisement. 
Hearing this, Hanada was the first to stand up and walk to Naruto's side, his face as shy as ever, but his blushing face was full of unshakable determination. Hanada's action benchmark has nothing to do with the village's position, nor does it involve the conceptual level. The reason why she did not hesitate to stand beside Naruto was purely for the feeling that had become her instinct. Others naturally knew this. Therefore, Hanada's choice cannot be their reference. Shikamaru glanced at each other, exchanged glances, and finally shrugged as Aruka usually does. Upon seeing this, the corner of Naruto's mouth suddenly hooked slightly. Both are partners who have grown up in Aruka's special training together. They don't need any words at all. They only need a look or a simple gesture to understand what the other party wants to understand. And this is the precious wealth that Aruka allowed them to dig in the process of growing up, and it is also a kind of human nature that Naruto said is true, good and beautiful. Looking at their familiar faces, Naruto's heart was warm, and the decision in his heart became firmer. Such a beautiful thing, I will never let you deny it completely, Sasuke. Comma 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 comma. Just after Naruto rushed over through Shiro's leaked information and Shiro returned to where he should be, as a core member of the organization, Sasuke opened his eyes from the longtime closed eyes and stood up. Well, Sasuke groaned suddenly and shook his body a little unstable, then raised his hand and gently rubbed his forehead a few times, his expression a little bit painful. It is still a bit reluctant to cover the whole world with perception in the current state. But fortunately, this level should not affect the next action. He shook his head and shook off the heaviness in his mind. After the will became lighter, Sasuke retracted his hand on his forehead. Through the ubiquitous electric field, whether it is the five shadows who are currently conducting an emergency five shadow meeting in the country of iron, or the organizational forces that are secretly planning for their own purposes, the outline of the entire world has emerged. In Sasuke's mind. However, there is one exception. Even if Sasuke can clearly perceive every move of a strong man who has resisted the returning to a technique he cannot perceive the whereabouts of Aruka, who has not reappeared since the day the plan started. Regarding this, Sasuke only sighed about the power of Aruka, and didn't think much about it. After all, in his eyes, Aruka has always been an insurmountable existence. This instinctive awe has never changed, so naturally he will not think about Aruka. Did something happen? Then, it's almost time to start the next step. Sasuke said to himself, the next moment, he slowly raised his hand and bit his right thumb with a click, and then the fingers of both hands changed rapidly, completing a series of surgical seals at a speed almost invisible to the naked eye. After the last seal was completed, Sasuke suddenly pressed his blood-stained thumb on the palm of his left hand. Accompanied by the generation of Sasuke's personal reality, circles of blood-red runes hovered around Sasuke's body. After a while, the runes suddenly appeared. The light was shining, and the space was completely submerged in an instant. In this extremely weird blood-red light, Sasuke suddenly raised his hand. Following his movements, the hazy sky suddenly sounded like a roar of beasts, and there seemed to be something terrifying in the dark clouds. Fat, about to tilt downwards, the terrifying power, so that all people living under the sky feel inexplicably heart palpitations. Chapter 259 um, discussing how to deal with the sudden global problem five shadows eyes suddenly flashed with surprise at the same time. After realizing that other people had the same expression, Rakage immediately asked. Do you feel it too? Turumi May nodded slightly. What a powerful chakra, just the indiscriminate coverage fluctuations can affect my mind. When did such a terrifying guy appear in the ninja world? Tsunade frowned. Although Aruka can do it 100%, since the last incident, Aruka has disappeared like the world, completely lost. Now Izumi, Shaohei and Crescent Moon are still searching all over the world. Therefore, she directly concluded that the source of the horror chakra that can be felt now is not Uruka. So, who the hell is it? Tsunade set his sights on the oldest Suchikage Onoki, and Zu lips lightly opened. Suchikage, do you know the identity of the other party? Onoki shook his head, and doubts appeared in his rather muddy old eyes. I have only experienced such horrible chakra in Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama, but they are all characters from the last era, and they should have died long ago. Fungi Ngara hugged his chest with his hands as before, expressionless, he inexplicably glanced at the little Sakura who was standing next to Tsunade as the guard, and the outline of someone gradually emerged in his mind, and then he said with some uncertainty. Although I have never felt the power of the two legendary characters, I know of an existence that can achieve this level. Hearing this, everyone's eyes focused on him for an instant. At this moment, the little Sakura, who was standing next to Tsunade and acting as Hokage's guard, suddenly stood up and interjected. You mean, Mr. Aruka, although little Sakura's perception ability is the bottom among Aruka's students, it is still much stronger than ordinary ninjas, at least comparable to perception ninjas. Therefore, although Gara's eyes were short, she was still sharp. After I noticed it, and thought of what Gara was saying at the moment, I asked this question. As soon as little Sakura's voice fell, Tsunade's eyes suddenly narrowed, little Sakura, don't talk nonsense. Aruka's strength belongs to the village's high-level secrets, and only a few special ninjas can understand it. Little Sakura just said Aruka's name so hastily, it is strange that Tsunade has a good face. However, none of the people present had a hard-earned voice when the water was thrown out. Naturally, all of them could hear what Little Sakura was saying. Aruka, it's a name I haven't heard of. Turumi Mei pursed her sexy lips with interest, and said softly, is it your recent rookie Konoha? It's not the time to inquire about intelligence. Master Mizukage, Tsunade responded coldly. 
When Rakage on the side heard what Gara and Sakura had said, for some reason, the scarred face of the man who brought him almost the most humiliating battle in Cloud Shinobi's history appeared in his mind two years ago, and suddenly wrinkled. Frowned. Could it be that guy? Darui and she immediately thought of who Rakage was referring to. After all, they had a deep impression of the battle that perfectly reflected the absolute power gap. The terrifying chakra coercion has gradually become heavier. Even with the strength of the five shadows, it is impossible to tell where this coercion comes from, and it is impossible to talk about it. And under this coercion, the Five Shadows Conference obviously it can't go on. However, just as Mifune, who was sitting by the side without a word, was about to announce the suspension of the meeting, Sasuke, who was on an ordinary mountain in the Country of Thunder, raised his hand high and turned into a hand knife, and then carried a strange chakra wave, the hand knife gently swung down. Advertisement. Secret technique. Thunder. Very common ninjutsu name, but what this ninjutsu brings is a terrifying shock that makes the whole world tremble. Boom boom boom. Dozens of huge blue and white lightning several meters wide suddenly broke through the clouds, and with the roar that resounded through the world, they fell straight down with the terrifying power of annihilating everything. Everything in the world lost its color in front of these blue and white lightnings that contained terrifying energy. The moment the first lightning fell on the ground, everything within a hundred miles of it was completely reduced to ashes, until everything was calm. After coming down, dozens of dark pits appeared on the earth, witnessing the scene destined to leave a lot of money in history. The calamity that fell from the sky instantly destroyed most of the hidden powerhouses or organizations in the ninja realm who possessed the power to resist the return to a technique, and their respective ambitions disappeared, leaving no trace of existence. Down, and this is the first step in Sasuke's action. That's right, Sasuke uses this ninjutsu with the power of destroying the heavens and the earth, not to verify his ability, nor to show his power to the world, but to destroy those strangers who may pose a threat to the world. Exist. Of course, Sasuke is not so extreme that as long as he has the power to resist the naturalization technique, he will kill them all. Therefore, when the last flash of lightning fell on the Iron Kingdom, Sasuke suddenly folded his hands together, and the spiritual realm was crazy. Operation, consciousness is completely concentrated in that area. Ji Dao, the Thunder Incarnation Technique. With the launch of Ninjutsu, the terrifying energy contained in the lightning did not explode directly like other lightning, but converged towards several singularities and gradually transformed into six fuzzy figures. Such a big movement will naturally not be noticed. As the dazzling thunder light gradually dissipates, the figure of six paths is gradually revealed. At the same time, whether it is the five shadows or the samurai of the iron country, all the buildings in the building filed out, like a tide. The direction rushed to the place that caused such a big movement. The vast majority of those who died meaninglessly in Lei Zhang were strong men hidden in the dark. Except for the shadows of the five ninja villages and the strong ninjas in the village, the strong men in other ninja villages were not affected. So they survived, not because Sasuke's power was not enough to kill them, but because in the era planned by Sasuke, they need to continue to serve as the leaders of their respective villages. In addition to the leaders of the various villages, there are a few others who have escaped for some reason, but they have no awareness of this, or that they have no leeway to pay attention to other events at this time. This, how is this, how is it possible? Izumi looked at the people standing in front of them in disbelief, blocking their way. The faces of a group of people were broken for some reason. The eyes showed a familiar figure among the black ninjas different from ordinary people, and their pretty faces were full of shock. Why, why are you still alive? Regardless of the fact that he was just an ordinary person at this time, Zan Yu stood directly in front of Quan Mei, and shouted at the figure with a look of excitement. Answer me, Uchiha Itachi. Yes, the figure watching Izumi and Crescent Moon has an indelible impact on their lives. Uchiha Itachi, a man who should have died at the hands of Aruka two years ago. With Quan Mei's current strength, coupled with the various forbidden techniques information that Crescent Moon told her in her spare time, it is natural to judge that those sluggish-faced ninjas are not normal lives, but were summoned from the pure land with the forbidden technique. A tool for murder in this world. If Itachi were as lifeless as everyone else at this time, Izumi and Crescent Moon would never have such a big mood swing. In fact, among a group of impure world reincarnation ninjas, Itachi's state at this time seemed extremely dazzling. I saw Itachi closed his eyes tightly and couldn't tell whether his eyes were the same as the ninjas of impure world reincarnation, but his face did not have a trace of cracks, his skin was ruddy, and he couldn't feel the death breath that impure world reincarnation should have at all. That's right, no matter how you judge it, Itachi is a vigorous living person, a man who should have been dead for two years, but now standing alive in front of Izumi and Crescent Moon, it is no wonder that Crescent Moon is so excited. Chapter 260 The Beginning of the End 5 Due to the different ways of using chakra, the different forms of belief and power, samurai and ninja are fundamentally different. Therefore, although the inability to use chakra will affect a part of the combat power, the samurai is still a samurai, and the impact will not be like treating chakra as everything. The foundation of the ninja is so big. When the effect of Lei Zhang technique disappeared, less than a minute after the figure of the intruder appeared, he was surrounded by hundreds of warriors in heavy armor. However, lightning style, thunder, z z z z. With a burst of violent arc flashing, the samurai surrounding the intruder was instantly knocked into the air, and fell to the ground several times with, bangs, bangs. 
Although they could be judged from their weak breathing that they were not in danger of life, the bursts of black smoke coming out of their bodies, as well as the scorching smell that gradually diffused, meant that they had completely lost their combat power. The fallen samurai was quickly taken away by his companions. Although the other samurai did not retreat, they did not dare to act rashly. After a while, Gokage and the others rushed over, and when Tsunade and Shizun saw the intruder's face clearly, a look of surprise suddenly appeared on their faces that could not be concealed, and little Sakura directly exclaimed. Sasuke, although I haven't seen each other for more than two years, and although the temperament and eyes are very different from the past, Sakura still recognizes it at a glance, not only because of the perception among those who also have the ability of the spiritual realm, the deeper reason is the imprint that has been carved into the deepest part of the soul. Hearing familiar voices, the six phantom incarnations turned their heads at the same time and glanced at little Sakura. However, after only an imperceptible fluctuation flashed in his calm eyes, he withdrew his gaze without saying anything. As far as Sasuke is concerned now, except for Aruka, only Naruto, who is recognized as his only opponent, is the only thing he cares about. As for the others, although he does not care at all, it is difficult to affect his will. N.S. Little Sakura's exclamation caught the attention of others. Rakage put his gaze on Tsunade, who still had a little surprise on his face, and asked in a slightly questioning tone. Hokage, who is this kid? Konoha rebels, Uchiha Sasuke. Tsunade answered without hesitation. There is nothing to hesitate. Although knowing that Sasuke's defection is largely Aruka's teaching and indulgence, and will not deliberately hostile to Konoha, rebellion is rebellion. From the standpoint of Hokage, how could she defend a rebellion? Tolerate. The Uchiha clan. Suchikage looked thoughtful, and Turumi Mei Oni-san on the side said fully, Hey, it's rare to meet a teenager from the Uchiha clan, he's pretty handsome. If it is normal, if there is a woman trying to hook up with Sasuke in front of her, little Sakura will definitely go violently, but at this moment, she has no reaction, just because she has no time to care about this kind of things. When I was in Hokage's office before, Naruto's judgment on the current world of imprisoned ninjutsu and Shikamaru and Shino's words appeared in my mind. Little Sakura's face did not have the slightest joy of reunion, but gradually became more complicated. Let the world be completely silent under absolute power. Is this the peace you want to create? Sasuke. Advertisement. Hearing this, Sasuke's eyes flashed with surprise. It seemed that he didn't expect the impression that the girl who was only a nympho would say such a thing, and after hearing what little Sakura said, Tsunade's face gradually showed a haze. Is it really you who cast this spell? Uchiha Sasuke. Hearing this, everyone looked at Tsunade in shock. They couldn't imagine that the existence that caused this kind of global problem would be such a stinking boy. This is too unbelievable. To be honest, Tsunade can't believe Naruto's previous judgment, how old is Sasuke? Fifteen years old. No matter how heaven-defying he is, he can't have the power to launch this kind of worldwide ninjutsu right now, right? But now, facing this young man who even felt unfathomable to herself, she had to trust Naruto's judgment. After all, Aruka itself is a miraculous man who turns the impossible into possible. As the perfect student he admitted personally, Sasuke does have countless possibilities and cannot be guessed by common sense. However, it is only now that I have a deep understanding of this. Has no meaning. Because, since Sasuke dared to appear here, it means that his actions no longer need to worry about the power of shadows. Yes, this is the answer I got from thinking about peace. As he said, Sasuke slowly raised his hand, and the palms of the six thunder avatars were facing six directions at the same time. No one knew that, including the little Sakura, everyone was included in his attack range. The existence of too many powerful people will only make peace less and less reachable, and if we want to change the status quo off using violence to force others to accept their own will, as the mainstream, the only way is to get everyone out of this cycle. That is, let all people be in a state of relative equality, to be more specific. I want to make human values, worldviews, and everything no longer be based on the strength of strength, and to do this, everyone must be deprived of their power, so. The eternal Mangekio Sharingan, intertwined with triangular shurikens and six-pointed stars, replaced the original deep black pupils. At the same time, an invisible wave slowly spread from Sasuke's palm, quietly facing the five shadows, whose face gradually became dignified. Go. As reality was gradually distorted under the operation of the spiritual realm, and the first blue-white arc flashed in the air, Sasuke's eyes suddenly condensed, your power must also return to where it started. The so-called starting point of power is the source, in Jiwan Yi technique, which is the energy that continuously circulates on the planet, including life and soul, and is also the essence of the cycle of life and death, the starting point of everything. Sasuke didn't say let the five shadows be captured without his hands, and obediently let him seal the ability to use chakra. From the beginning, Sasuke had no plans to negotiate, just because, with his current strength, there is no need to put the five shadows in his eyes. If you insist that anyone in the room can attract Sasuke's attention in combat, it is only the girl who has gone out of the same door with him, and must stand in the position of the village to be hostile to him. Nonsense. Rakage yelled and bluntly denied Sasuke's theory. However, he was about to continue, but suddenly keenly felt that a strange chakra was pouring in from his body. He was shocked, unable to speak, and immediately used the thunder armor, and at the same time concentrate on mobilizing its own powerful chakra to resist the weird chakra that invaded into the body in a moment. It's as strong as Rakage who couldn't even speak under this weird chakra invasion, not to mention others. Including the casual shadow guardian, 
Almost all the samurai and ninja fell to the ground, even thinking about themselves. There was no time for any ninjutsu in the end, and he just lost consciousness. When the imperceptible weird chakra completely dissipated and Sasuke slowly withdrew his hand, there were only six people standing in front of Sasuke. They used their own powerful power to successfully resist the mystical illusion combined with pupil technique and abilities Mimi -mi technique, close black lens bracket, S5 shadows, as well as the little Sakura who can rely on the spiritual realm to be immune to all illusions, and they can resist the illusion technique, obviously in Sasuke's expectation, otherwise, the phantom incarnation transformed after the thunderfall technique, it is impossible to be unbiased and there are exactly six. Although he successfully resisted Sasuke's illusion that was comparable to Uchiha Shisui, except for the unknown little Sakura, the eyes of everyone looking at Sasuke became extremely solemn. This is your last battle and the last violence you will experience. Six thunder-like incarnations came together, and then lined up, facing the five shadows. The result is destined. No matter how unwilling you are, your power will surely be buried in this era that should end long ago. Rammed Earth. Chapter 261. The Girls Wandering Beyond the Wave. Bichet is finally done, and now the normal update is resumed. Rising gravity. With a soft drink, Aruka's unique ability was activated instantly, and then all the ground around the soft drink suddenly shattered, forming huge cracks. Numerous rubbles floated from the cracks and moved towards each other for a moment. Surrounded by a solid stone wall. Bang bang bang. Dozens of offensive ninjutsu bombarded the stone wall with loud noises, the stone wall trembling constantly, and cracks appeared on the surface, but in the end it did not break. I said you guys, even if you see an ex-boyfriend, you don't have to be so excited to this point. Inside the stone wall, Xiaohei slowly retracted his hand, while habitually shook the hairy ear behind him that showed that she was not a human being, while looking at it with annoyance, he turned his head in surprise because he noticed a familiar chakra. The two who looked over. The lifeless zombies around that guy are not dead men without threats. Don't you feel the hostility around you? Or do you just want to rush into the arms of the handsome guy who is much more handsome than the master? Speaking of this, Xiaohei suddenly thought of something, suddenly his eyes lit up, and he said in an abducting tone. If that's the case, I'll help you out, get rid of all the guys who are in the way, and lift the restrictions on that handsome guy by the way. Before they could finish speaking, Quan Mi and Zan Yu suddenly recovered, and then stared at Xiaohei with a calculated face at the same time. Dead cat, what are you talking about? Where is my ex-boyfriend? There is a limit to joking. How could I like the kind of guy who slaughtered my loved ones? And I've long ago. Zan Yu almost said something terrible. After reacting, she slammed the corners of her mouth. Quan Mei looked at it suspiciously, and a panic flashed across Zan Yu's graceful and pretty face. Fortunately, the resilience of the crescent moon has already reached its peak, almost instantly suppressing the guilty conscience in my heart, his face instantly calmed down, and then he naturally said something that seemed unfinished. I have made up my mind a long time ago and must kill that man. Quan Mei nodded clearly, and Xiao He, who also didn't notice the flash of different colors on Zan Yu's face, sighed regretfully, and muttered in disappointment. Hey, why not? However, it is obviously not the time to discuss the topic between these girls. Dust Escape, the original world stripping technique. The dazzling beam suddenly flew out of the hand of a bandaged man in the crowd, and flew straight towards the stone wall not far away. Feeling the deadly threat contained in the light beam, Azumi's eyes suddenly condensed, her right hand did not hesitate to hold the handle of the sword, and her body tilted forward slightly, making a standard posture of drawing a sword, with the other hand to relieve it with one hand. Yin, Chakra rushed into the sword madly, causing the scabbard to glow with bursts of blue light, and at the same time, several black lines slowly appeared on Quan Mi's face. Sword of the Immortal, Xiao He, who was about to shoot, looked at Quan Mei whose breath gradually merged with nature in surprise, and subconsciously stopped the movement in his hand, looking attentively at Quan Mei's trembling Tachi. Click. The stone wall fell apart in an instant, and the dazzling beam flew towards Quan Mei who was standing in the forefront without a pause. She was about to turn Quan Mei's body into fly ash like crushing a stone wall, and at this moment, Quan Mei suddenly opening his eyes, three weird black goo has appeared in the scarlet pupils, and while they were turning fast, they suddenly pulled out the sword in his hand. Yiji and Juchin, the sword energy of chakra, which contained Izumi beauty, gushed from the body of the sword, and as Izumi Mi's movements turned into a half-moon-shaped light curtain, it slammed into the sweeping beam of light. Advertisement. Squeak. The two completely different energies collided and made a chilling sound. The crescent moon had completely lost its strength on the side, and the crescent moon, which was no different from ordinary people, suddenly showed pain, but the next moment, the pain on her face suddenly he disappeared and turned to look at Xiaohei behind him in surprise. Obviously, it was not Izumi, who was concentrating on maintaining swordsmanship, that helped her avoid the aftermath of ninjutsu, but the catwoman who had always had a bad relationship with her, or could be said to be a little intolerable. Humph. Xiaohei snorted, and said in a rather unwilling tone, Don't get me wrong, I don't want to help you, if it's not because you are barely related to the master, I won't bother to care about you. Quote dot 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 quote. Bang. With a soft sound, the light beam and sword energy dissipated in the air at the same time. Oh, it's really that guy's woman to be able to hold on to the dust. The bandage man spoke slowly with a very cold tone. 
For some reason, although he has peculiar pure black eyes like other people, he is full of lifelessness, but he is not as lifeless as others. Hearing this, Xiao He curled his mouth very uncomfortably. Although the bandage man did not name him, Xiao He could easily determine that the guy in his mouth was Aruka. After all, Izumi was the only one recognized by Aruka. Lovers, their relationship has long been recognized, as long as the bandage man has the heart, it is not difficult to know this. Who are you? Quan Mei asked coldly. Me, my name is Yakushi Kabuto. I'm just an unknown man. The bandage man raised his hand inexplicably, and seemed to have habitually pushed on his face. Then he seemed to have noticed something, so he put his hand down, and then said calmly. Even if I submit my name, you can't even know me as a little person, right? Yakushi Kabuto. Kabuto guessed right. Izumi and Shaohei had no impression of him, but Zanyu frowned suddenly, hesitated, and then asked a little uncertainly. Are you, the subordinate who often follows Orochimaru? Although the memory of Crescent Moon has always been very good, he only has a slight impression of the name Yakushi Kabuto, and the man who claims to be Yakushi Kabuto is wrapped in a bandage, which is far from the image of Kabuto he knows. I can't remember when I ever dealt with a bandage man. Orochimaru. Sister Shuanyu, when have you been in contact with Orochimaru? That guy is Orochimaru's subordinate. Quan Mei asked suspiciously, Zan Yu shook her head, and slowly said. I don't know, I only remember that Orochimaru does have a subordinate Kaldakabudo, but that guy shouldn't be bandaged. As for Orochimaru, when I hunted down that man, I contacted him for a while and exchanged some information, but after returning to the village, I never dealt with him again. Konoha's collapse plan is the second turning point in Zan Yu's life. At the end of that incident, she was deprived of all strength by Uruka because of her position. Uruka had no choice but to change her destiny as an Avenger. Knowing that behind the incident, only she and Aruka were the parties involved. Although Konoha's senior management felt that she had a problem, they could only suppress the doubts in their hearts due to Aruka's face. More than two years have passed since that incident. The result is not bad for Zan Yu. It can even be said that it is a blessing to let go of the hatred that has become the shackles of her life, but Zan Yu does not want to talk about it, even subconsciously not. Think about it, let alone tell Kwanmei. Hey, Kabuto chuckled, and said quite self-confidently. I didn't expect that the Scarlet Girl, who had created a reputation in the ninja world, would actually remember the name of this little person like me. It's an honor. Kabuto's words undoubtedly confirmed Zan Yu's guess. After knowing that the ninjas of impure world reincarnation that were blocked in front of him were related to Orochimaru, Zan Yu's face suddenly condensed. Sure enough, it's you, then, these undead are all Orochimaru's handwriting. What is the purpose of that guy? And? Xuan Yu's gaze was once again on Itachi, who had still not said a word until now, with his eyes closed. How on earth did you completely bring that man back to life? Chapter 262. Orochimaru-sama's purpose. Huh. Kabuto raised his hand inexplicably, squeezed his forehead, then smiled self-deprecatingly, and then continued. A man who has been dead for more than two years has no purpose. Hearing this, the crescent moon could not help but was stunned. Two years ago, Orochimaru was indeed sucked into the space-time wormhole created by Uruka's secret technique, but this does not mean that Orochimaru is bound to die. Even Uruka did not assert that Orochimaru is dead. How can she have a say in this? Suddenly hearing the news of Orochimaru's exact death, even she was a little surprised. For Crescent Moon, Orochimaru's strength is not the forbidden technique, which is useless to a certain level of power such as Aruka, or those who are not only loyal to him, but also have their own blood. The powerful subordinates with special abilities such as Boundary or his survivability. Even if it is the Crescent Moon at its peak, when facing Orochimaru, although it can be defeated, it is never possible to kill it. After all, Orochimaru has too many means of escape, and the endless hole cards make it impossible to guard against. Sometimes you I thought he had been completely killed, but within a few days, the traces of Orochimaru's whereabouts could be found elsewhere in the ninja world. However, Kabuto's words confirm to a certain extent the fact that Orochimaru is not in this world. Master Orochimaru is in the past, and the one who inherited everything from him is me. Hearing this, Shuanyu suddenly understood that the man in front of him who had a great relationship with Orochimaru might have acquired Orochimaru's skills, and might even have inherited Orochimaru's crazy ideals. I'm not interested in you. Izumi put Tachi on the ground, looked at Kabuto coldly, and said coldly, I just want to know how you brought Itachi back to life. Although she didn't see it with her own eyes, she believed Aruka's judgment, which was confirmed by Crescent Moon. Itachi was absolutely dead two years ago, and the one who appeared in front of her now has the familiar chakra fluctuations that once made her the figure of the dream crawling as 100% Itachi himself. Such a subversive state of affairs can be called a miracle, even Xiaohei can't help but become interested in this kind of thing, and the bright eyes are full of curiosity. Hey, the way to resurrect Itachi. Kabuto glanced at Itachi, and an inexplicable smile slowly emerged from the corner of his mouth. Looking at Kwanmi's scarlet Sharingan, he said coldly, if you want to know, just change your eyes. Repulsion field. With the activation of the force field control ability, the direction of the force field around Aruka's body changes instantly. The next moment, dozens of heat source missiles that locate the target through the heat source fly into the range of the repulsion force field, under the interaction of the impulse and the changed repulsion force, weirdly still in the air. After a while, 
The repulsive force completely overwhelmed the original impulse of the missile, and the missile suddenly flew out in the opposite direction at a faster speed than before. Boom 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 boom. The missile fell on the ground, and there was a series of explosions. I, Mr. Aruka, Shangpu asked with a horrified face and trembling fingers towards the sky. Then, what is that? Looking along the place where the calamus was pointing, I saw a giant spaceship with a white color as the main style, thousands of meters in length, and many unknown luminous patterns engraved on the extremely large hull. Aruka raised her head, while maintaining the repulsion field, reflecting all the stray missiles and the flying lasers, while looking at the middle of the hull of the giant spaceship suspended in the air with a conspicuous silver olive branch carved on it. The pattern, while whispering. Advertisement. Ascalon, a strategic class star warship unique to Holy Bunitan, the ally of the Holy Alliance. It seems to be explaining to Changpu, and it seems to be talking to himself, with inexplicable nostalgia on his face. Aruka doesn't know much about the famous star warships in the Ku community. After spending so many years in the ninja world, he has forgotten about the information that he doesn't need. The reason why he can clearly remember the light in the sky is looking at the name of the star warship that gives people a heavy sense of oppression, it is because he served for the former owner of the Ascalon for a period of time, and later became the warship that can almost represent the most cutting-edge technology of mankind. His master drove it to conquer the world, and was finally buried in a hidden cabin of the battleship that only he and another girl knew. That's right, that battleship was the starting point of his path of power in the Ku community and the focal point of his life. How could he have forgotten the name of this battleship? Since the Ascalon is here, then, that guy should also. When Aruka gradually fell into heavy thinking and talked to herself, she didn't realize that Chengpu didn't know when he held his hand. Feeling the temperature of Aruka's palm, an incomparable sense of peace of mind continued to emerge from Chengpu's heart, even though it was three meters away. Still covered by terrifying artillery fire and extremely destructive beams, Chengpu's face gradually calmed down. Ms. Aruka, the Calamus called Aruka weakly, and immediately made Aruka come back to his senses, and forcibly suppressed the disorganized thoughts in his heart. Aruka turned his head and looked at the Calamus with a rather complicated expression. Chengpu didn't notice Aruka's obviously different gaze from usual. With a little anxiety and uncertainty, as well as obvious anticipation, Chengpu spoke slowly. Now, Mr. Aruka, although I don't know where this is or what happened, but, anyway, you will protect me, right? This is the world of science and warfare with constant disputes and the danger of planet destruction at any time. This place is likely to be a battlefield formed by war between major forces for extremely boring reasons. However, these words have absolutely no meaning to the current Chengpu. She is just a girl who is bound to feel uneasy in a strange place. Therefore, what she needs now is not information or analysis of the situation, but a guarantee. A guarantee that will let her completely settle her flustered heart. Thinking of this, Aruka nodded solemnly, with a solemn expression. Well, I swear by everything about me. Hearing this, Chengpu's face suddenly showed a reassuring smile, and then he didn't know what he thought of suddenly, and his face became ruddy inexplicably. Thank you, Mr. Aruka. Aruka shook her head, and did not thank the Calamus. If it weren't for him, Chengpu would definitely be helping Uncle Yil at the Yil Ramen restaurant, instead of living in a world that, in his opinion, is countless times more dangerous than Ninja, and he had chosen for his own selfishness before. Save Izumi and Crescent Moon, and leave her in danger, who is obviously just an innocent girl. He who made such a selfish choice is too late to feel guilty, so he has no face to accept Chengpu's gratitude. Now, all he can do is make up. Aruka doesn't need to say anything. Aruka will never leave the Calamus. Not only is she an acquaintance, but more importantly, he owes too much to the Calamus. Too much. There are so many things to say like sea water, but now, whether it is the missile laser outside or the continuous flying from the Ascalon, it is only possible to control it if it has a physical ability far beyond that of ordinary people. To some extent, it represents human technology. The research results of the war weapon, the cardinal, and the underground are constantly rising. Even the biological force field that Aruka feels unfamiliar indicates that this place is definitely not a suitable place for conversation. Let's leave here first, Aruka said indifferently. Chengpu gave a soft, um, with a well-behaved face, she didn't doubt whether Aruka could take herself out of this place safely, because in her mind, Aruka has always been omnipotent. Before the consciousness connects to the spiritual realm, Aruka suddenly raised her head and looked at Ascalon high in the sky, with an inexplicable look of disappointment flashing in her eyes. Is this what the world you have chosen looks like? Dream Sound. Chapter 263. Ascalon, the first command room. Have you killed the two other world invaders yet? The speaker was a delicate-looking young woman wearing a jet-black military high-collared coat and a tight-fitting special combat suit inside. She had long chestnut hair and a delicate face. After hearing the woman's question, an intelligence analyst sitting on the side, who was responsible for analyzing the information coming from underneath, temporarily put aside his work, then raised his head, his face was rather solemn and responded. Master Shenian, the situation doesn't seem to be very good. The two intruders who suddenly appeared in the 311 precaution zone have a supernatural power that we can't resolve for the time being. Our attack can't get close to them within three meters. Upon hearing this, the woman named Shwenian frowned. Damn, it's a strong man in a strange plane again. Using current technology and the intelligence gathered in recent years, the supernatural power that is still unresolvable means that this supernatural power must come from the otherworld plane, which has never appeared in the Kawu world, and the reason why Shenian says, again, 
it's all because of the status quo of the Ku community. When will this damn world line be restored to the level of maintaining the operation of the space barrier? Now the planetary energy is no longer able to sustain the consumption of foreign wars. If this continues, sooner or later this world will be destroyed by more and more alien races. Damn it, if that guy is still there, with his strength. After working for half a month, even with the super physique of a capable person, mental exhaustion cannot be avoided. The always calm string tone also inevitably gives rise to anxiety and irritability, but at the end of the talk, she still noticed what. Stop the topic, and then look at the figure sitting on the main seat with a complex expression. It was a woman with long chestnut hair like her, but she did not wear the special combat uniform that she should be wearing, nor did she put on a coat to prove her identity and status, but a pure white lace t-shirt with tightness. Dressed up with jeans and casual clothes, in this serious occasion, wearing casual clothes will undoubtedly look extremely alternative. However, whether it is the other high-ranking officers on the side or the other personnel who are immersed in their work, these meticulously dressed elites with no wrinkles have no opinion on this, and they even look openly or darkly at the women in civilian clothes. You can clearly see the color of reverence. The reason for such an abnormal situation is not because the woman has much higher status and power than them, nor because she has the most recognized power in the world today, but simply because they sit with respect from the heart. The casual woman in the main position is nothing more. Although she is much younger than most of the people present, her leadership ability is far from the aura of the previous leader who lashed out at Fang Chu. With all these kinds of things, she seems that she is not qualified to sit beside strength. In the position of the supreme leader, this is not the case. Eight years ago, she did a great event that once caused a sensation in the world and was destined to be recorded in the annals of world history. Killing the dictator who was about to ascend to the top of the world with his own hands, in an attempt to take away everyone's voice with unparalleled power, to build a new order with his own will, and to establish an absolute dictatorship. That's right, she is a hero, who is recognized by everyone in the world who has been on the verge of destruction and at the tipping point of collapse, who has saved the world. Mengin, the title that has caused a sensation in the world and is respected by countless people is the name of this woman. If Changpu were here, I would be surprised to be speechless, because this beautiful woman with almost perfect mature charm, but a young and beautifully dressed beautiful woman, looks exactly the same as her. In other words, Mengin's appearance at this time is what she will look like when she grows up. She is not surprised when she suddenly sees someone who is easy to feel like she is looking in a mirror. She heard Shenyan's words, and she also knew what was the follow-up to the topic that Shenyan interrupted, but she did not hear it, her eyes did not reach the figure of a woman who was like her in sevens not far away, and her cold face faced. Obliquely above, on the electronic projection light screen showing the situation of the battlefield underneath. Under the indifferent eyes, the slightly pale lips lightly opened, and the next moment, the voice without a trace of emotion reached everyone's ears clearly. Advertisement. Can you capture their optical image? Sorry, Master Mengin. A middle-aged man temporarily put down his work, got up from his seat, then turned around, and said to Mengin apologetically. The chemo beast that came this time was several times stronger than the one three years ago. Our current technology is still unable to capture the surrounding images through its different magnetic field. We can only roughly locate the enemy's location through soul fluctuations and heat sources. Quote. Really, I know. Mengin supported her cheek with one hand, her face still indifferent, as if nothing in the world could cause her inner feelings to fluctuate. Shenyan, the cardinal can't deal with a guy who can perfectly defend against conventional weapons. Go ahead. Hearing this, a touch of sadness appeared inexplicably on Xi'an Yin's face, but she quickly recovered her thoughts and replied solemnly. Yes, however, just as Xi'an Yin was about to turn around and walk towards the exit, a series of exclamations suddenly sounded not far from the middle-aged person who had spoken before. This, how is this possible? They seemed to have discovered something incredible and the tone of voice immediately attracted everyone's attention. Even Meng Yin subconsciously looked over and over. What's wrong? Did something happen? Dream. Master Mengin. A young man stood up tremblingly, with an undecided look, and said in a trembled voice, We just tried to separate, analyzed, the souls of the two invaders. The soul fluctuates, and it turns out that. What did you find? Xi'an Yin asked with a frown. The young man swallowed without image and tried to force himself to calm down. However, this was of no use. When he thought of the analysis results he had just seen, a fear that emerged from the depths of his soul completely occupied him. His body and mind made his body tremble more violently, and even his words became a little slurred. That, that guy's, soul exists, there is a spiritual realm. What, spirit realm? It's no wonder that Shenyan is so surprised that countless scientists in the world of science and warfare have made painstaking efforts to study for hundreds of years. The emergence of careerists has caused the entire planet to face the crisis of destruction several times, and even the global problem facing the Ku community the plane invasion caused by the blurring of the world line is directly related to the birth of superpowers. However, it is undeniable that the research results of the spiritual realm are an extremely important symbol of the Ku community. But this sign now appears in the hands of an intruder of unknown origin. How can the string tone calm down? We must know that from the emergence of the first space crack six years ago to the present, in the war of war that lasted for six years, there has never been such a bizarre phenomenon, although the planes that invaded the Ku world have their own supernatural power and power system, but compared with the overall strength of the science and military circles, there is a very big gap, and this gap mainly reflects the unconventional combat power. 
Superpowers are always stronger than those with supernatural powers on other planes. Because of this, the Kuo world, which has the advantage of top combat power, can repel the invasion of alien planes time and time again. However, now, this advantage seems to be threatened. If the plane behind the invader with the spiritual realm underneath has the technology to activate the spiritual realm, the Kuo realm has experienced several catastrophes, and both energy and materials are extremely scarce. Thinking of this, Xi'an Yin's face suddenly became difficult to look. Chapter 260 for another name. There is only one existence that can completely annihilate one's own feelings, and that is the existence in the gap between illusion and reality, both existence and absence, which can barely be regarded as a conceptual god. Even Aruka, who had the power to be infinitely close to the concept of god, in the previous life, was unable to break free from the final shackles because of the feelings in his heart, and turned into a law by his body, not to mention that the current strength is far inferior to Aruka at the time. Sasuke too. That's right, Sasuke can't complete the deification of his own will like Aruka, at least not now, no matter whether it is power or will, Sasuke knows that better than anyone. Because of this, Sasuke, who retains the extremely deep bond he cultivated with Naruto Little Sakura and the others during the process of growing up, is impossible to deal with Little Sakura seriously, even if Little Sakura can be cruel just now, Sasuke would not completely deprive her of her power like he did with Gokage. That's right, for Sasuke who now has the will to ignore the vast majority of people in the world, they are Aruka's students, except for Aruka himself, the last exception. Even if it was his elder brother Uchiha Itachi, even if she already knew the truth about the extermination, as long as Itachi obstructed his plan, he would not be soft. Although the directions are different, you and I are both of Mr. Aruka's students. Sasuke looked calmly at a young Sakura who was so dignified as if waiting for a fate decision, and said calmly, I didn't deprive Mr. Aruka of the power personally endowed by him. Power, but. One of the six phantom incarnations appeared around the little Sakura, encircling the little Sakura completely, and then the phantom incarnation who confronted the little Sakura at first continued to say. I can't let you obstruct my plan, so let's be a little wronged. Little Sakura frowned and didn't quite understand what Sasuke meant. However, before she could ask, the six thunder avatars suddenly put their hands together at the same time, and suddenly turned into the blue and white rays of six paths rising into the sky. The next moment, nothing the defensive little Sakura only felt black in front of his eyes, and in the eyes of the five shadows with only a trace of consciousness, the six phantom incarnations dissipated instantly with a glare of dazzling blue and white light. Dissipated at the same time as the phantom avatar, there was also the girl who was playing soy sauce from start to finish in their eyes, and had no effect except dragging a phantom avatar. Dot 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 force field. The force field that is invisible to the naked eye suddenly undergoes subtle changes, and in the middle of this area that is subtly different from other spaces, are three women, all three of which are almost the same as the previous force field control. It is a woman who has a lot to do with Aruka, the only owner of abilities outside the standard. Xiao Hei's hands pressed together, and her eyes that could easily confuse people's mind were filled with cold glows. Accompanied by the waves of silver white chakra, another technique that should only be used by Aruka suddenly activates. Gravity space. Click. The ground within a radius of several hundred meters suddenly sank. At the same time, dozens of impure world reincarnation ninjas rushing towards them suddenly stopped moving. The next moment, the weaker ninja became unstable and fell directly on the ground. The ten or so powerful ninjas remained unabated, and they appeared in front of the three women not far from them within a few moments. Hey, shameless girl, help me buy some time. Even in this kind of situation that is obviously not suitable for bickering, Xiao Hei's attitude towards Quan Mei is still bad. It seems that she is born with Quan Mei's character, and her attitude towards Quan Mei has never been conscious of being a pet and a hostess. Who is a shameless girl? Izumi gave Xiao Hei a dissatisfied look, but she quickly closed the seal. When the last seal was completed, her cheeks suddenly bulged, chakra gathered in her mouth, and ninjutsu suddenly activated. Fire style, dust hidden technique. A thick black smoke suddenly spouted from Quan Mei's mouth, instantly concealing the figures of the three of them, and also temporarily halting the movements of the dozen or so powerful men not far away. Advertisement. However, this is only temporary. Wind style, crush. The violent wind pressure was severely depressed, and the thick smoke was blown away in an instant, revealing the shadows of the three women inside. Although Quan Mei only won less than four breaths, for Xiao Hei, this time was more than enough. She raised the right hand that had gathered a large number of chakra high, and then slapped it hard on the ground. Earth style, too long gun. Boom boom boom. Accompanied by a series of roars, countless earth and spears suddenly cracked from the front of Xiao Hei's body, and then rushed towards enemies not far away like a wave. However, Although the wave of soil guns is huge, but for these ninjas who have been famous for a long time and come out of impure world reincarnation, there is no threat. The continuous soil guns are easily avoided, and they can't touch them at all. Izumi, who has always been displeased with Xiao Hei, will not let go of such a good time for taunting. She glanced at more than a dozen ninjas who were jumping up and down not far away, hiding from soil guns, and said jokingly. This is the technique you want us to see. It's not awesome. Dead cat, tisk tisk. Although I don't know how you got a part of Aruka's power, but only this level, it's too bad, right? Quote. Although Izumi was teasing Xiao Hei, the movements in her hand kept pouring into Taito, causing Taito's blade to tremble constantly. Hearing Izumi's ridicule, Xiao Hei smiled confidently, did not speak, but watched the enemy's movements of avoiding soil guns. 
When five or six of the ninjas fell on the ground, she suddenly stared at Izumi. Immediately before preparing to draw the knife, he suddenly folded his hands and shouted. It's now. Gravity field. The silver white chakra suddenly exploded at the feet of the enemies falling, instantly forming an invisible force field fluctuation, causing the gravity within one meter of the surrounding area to suddenly increase by more than ten times. A few people have not reacted yet, and there are turtles on their bodies. The fissure intensified in an instant, and the body instantly turned into a puddle of debris. Seeing this, Izumi couldn't help but stop the movement in her hand, just like the crescent moon that had been leisurely watching the battle, she subconsciously looked at Xiao Hei, her eyes full of surprise. They know that Xiao Hei can use Aruka's basic abilities. Although she doesn't know how she did it, she thinks that as Aruka's only summoning beast, there is a special connection with Aruka, plus her peculiarity. The particularity of the living body, through a special method they did not know, obtained a part of Aruka's silver white chakra, and turned it into their own power. In their view, even if Xiao Hei possesses a small part of Aruka's power, it does not mean that she can use all Aruka's skills. At most, she can only use some crude ninjutsu similar to micro-repulsion field or gravity space. Gravity field can almost be regarded as Aruka's standard technique, Xiao Hei should not be able to use it. There is no need to look back at all, Xiao Hei can also feel the surprised eyes of the two behind him, but it is not the time to explain. Although Xiao Hei does not know much about the technique of impure world reincarnation, he can also be able to recover from the pile of debris that is recovering in human form. Seeing that it was impossible to kill them by ordinary methods, after noticing this, Xiao Hei raised his hand again without hesitation, his ten fingers changed rapidly, and the printing speed was as fast as a dozen streets in Aruka. The world is full of strange things, and the characteristics of enemies are also different. Immortality, or immortality, characteristics naturally exist, and there are generally three ways to solve enemies with such characteristics. Inexplicably, when he habitually lays on Aruka's head in the form of a black cat, Aruka rarely teaches students seriously. One is to exile it in a different time and space, and you don't need to think about it. Of course, you don't have to think about it, the other is to find a way to remove the enemy's immortality characteristics. This requires very strong logical thinking and analytical skills. Try it if you feel you can do it, in the end, the most direct and easiest way is. Snapped. Xiao Hei put his hands together, and the silver white chakra continued to gush out, turning into silver white spells, rushing towards the broken earth not far away. Seal Technique, Eternal Stagnation Ban. Chapter 265. There is only one existence that can completely annihilate one's own feelings, and that is the existence in the gap between illusion and reality, both existence and absence, which can barely be regarded as a conceptual god. Even Aruka, who had the power to be infinitely close to the concept of god, in the previous life, was unable to break free from the final shackles because of the feelings in his heart, and turned into a law by his body, not to mention that the current strength is far inferior to Aruka at the time. Sasuke too. That's right, Sasuke can't complete the deification of his own will like Aruka, at least not now, no matter whether it is power or will, Sasuke knows that better than anyone. Because of this, Sasuke, who retains the extremely deep bond he cultivated with Naruto Little Sakura and the others during the process of growing up, is impossible to deal with Little Sakura seriously, even if Little Sakura can be cruel just now, Sasuke would not completely deprive her of her power like he did with Gokage. That's right, for Sasuke who now has the will to ignore the vast majority of people in the world, they are Aruka's students, except for Aruka himself, the last exception. Even if it was his elder brother Uchiha Itachi, even if she already knew the truth about the extermination, as long as Itachi obstructed his plan, he would not be soft. Although the directions are different, you and I are both of Mr. Aruka's students. Sasuke looked calmly at a young Sakura who was so dignified as if waiting for a fate decision, and said calmly, I didn't deprive Mr. Aruka of the power personally endowed by him. Power. But. One of the six phantom incarnations appeared around the little Sakura, encircling the little Sakura completely, and then the phantom incarnation who confronted the little Sakura at first continued to say. I can't let you obstruct my plan, so let's be a little wronged. Little Sakura frowned and didn't quite understand what Sasuke meant. However, before she could ask, the six thunder avatars suddenly put their hands together at the same time, and suddenly turned into the blue and white rays of six paths rising into the sky. The next moment, nothing the defensive little Sakura only felt black in front of his eyes, and in the eyes of the five shadows with only a trace of consciousness, the six phantom incarnations dissipated instantly with a glare of dazzling blue and white light. Dissipated at the same time as the phantom avatar, there was also the girl who was playing soy sauce from start to finish in their eyes, and had no effect except dragging a phantom avatar. Dot 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 Force field. The force field that is invisible to the naked eye suddenly undergoes subtle changes, and in the middle of this area that is subtly different from other spaces, are three women, all three of which are almost the same as the previous force field control. It is a woman who has a lot to do with Aruka, the only owner of abilities outside the standard. Xiao Hei's hands pressed together, and her eyes that could easily confuse people's mind were filled with cold glows. Accompanied by the waves of silver white chakra, another technique that should only be used by Aruka suddenly activates. Gravity space. Click. The ground within a radius of several hundred meters suddenly sank. At the same time, dozens of impure world reincarnation ninjas rushing towards them suddenly stopped moving. The next moment, the weaker ninja became unstable and fell directly on the ground. The ten or so powerful ninjas remained unabated, and they appeared in front of the three women not far from them within a few moments. 
Hey, shameless girl, help me buy some time. Even in this kind of situation that is obviously not suitable for bickering, Xiao Hei's attitude towards Quan Mei is still bad. It seems that she is born with Quan Mei's character, and her attitude towards Quan Mei has never been conscious of being a pet and a hostess. Who is a shameless girl? Izumi gave Xiao Hei a dissatisfied look, but she quickly closed the seal. When the last seal was completed, her cheeks suddenly bulged, chakra gathered in her mouth, and ninjutsu suddenly activated. Fire style, dust hidden technique. A thick black smoke suddenly spouted from Quan Mei's mouth, instantly concealing the figures of the three of them, and also temporarily halting the movements of the dozen or so powerful men not far away. Advertisement. However, this is only temporary. Wind style, crush. The violent wind pressure was severely depressed, and the thick smoke was blown away in an instant, revealing the shadows of the three women inside. Although Quan Mei only won less than four breaths, for Xiao Hei, this time was more than enough. She raised the right hand that had gathered a large number of chakra high, and then slapped it hard on the ground. Earth style, too long gun. Boom boom boom. Accompanied by a series of roars, countless earth and spears suddenly cracked from the front of Xiao Hei's body, and then rushed towards enemies not far away like a wave. However, although the wave of soil guns is huge, but for these ninjas who have been famous for a long time and come out of impure world reincarnation, there is no threat. The continuous soil guns are easily avoided, and they can't touch them at all. Izumi, who has always been displeased with Xiao Hei, will not let go of such a good time for taunting. She glanced at more than a dozen ninjas who were jumping up and down not far away, hiding from soil guns, and said jokingly. This is the technique you want us to see. It's not awesome. Dead cat, tisk tisk. Although I don't know how you got a part of Aruka's power, but only this level, it's too bad, right? Quote. Although Izumi was teasing Xiao Hei, the movements in her hand kept pouring into Taito, causing Taito's blade to tremble constantly. Hearing Izumi's ridicule, Xiao Hei smiled confidently, did not speak, but watched the enemy's movements of avoiding soil guns. When five or six of the ninjas fell on the ground, she suddenly stared at Izumi. Immediately before preparing to draw the knife, he suddenly folded his hands and shouted. It's now. Gravity field. The silver-white chakra suddenly exploded at the feet of the enemies falling, instantly forming an invisible force field fluctuation, causing the gravity within one meter of the surrounding area to suddenly increase by more than ten times. A few people have not reacted yet, and there are turtles on their bodies. The fissure intensified in an instant, and the body instantly turned into a puddle of debris. Seeing this, Izumi couldn't help but stop the movement in her hand, just like the crescent moon that had been leisurely watching the battle, she subconsciously looked at Xiao Hei, her eyes full of surprise. They know that Xiao Hei can use Aruka's basic abilities. Although she doesn't know how she did it, she thinks that as Aruka's only summoning beast, there is a special connection with Aruka, plus her peculiarity. The particularity of the living body, through a special method they did not know, obtained a part of Aruka's silver-white chakra, and turned it into their own power. In their view, even if Xiao Hei possesses a small part of Aruka's power, it does not mean that she can use all Aruka's skills. At most, she can only use some crude ninjutsu similar to micro-repulsion field or gravity space. Gravity field can almost be regarded as Aruka's standard technique, Xiao Hei should not be able to use it. There is no need to look back at all, Xiao Hei can also feel the surprised eyes of the two behind him, but it is not the time to explain. Although Xiao Hei does not know much about the technique of impure world reincarnation, he can also be able to recover from the pile of debris that is recovering in human form. Seeing that it was impossible to kill them by ordinary methods, after noticing this, Xiao Hei raised his hand again without hesitation, his ten fingers changed rapidly, and the printing speed was as fast as a dozen streets in Aruka. The world is full of strange things, and the characteristics of enemies are also different. Immortality, or immortality, characteristics naturally exist, and there are generally three ways to solve enemies with such characteristics. Inexplicably, when he habitually lays on Aruka's head in the form of a black cat, Aruka rarely teaches students seriously. One is to exile it in a different time and space, and you don't need to think about it. Of course, you don't have to think about it, the other is to find a way to remove the enemy's immortality characteristics. This requires very strong logical thinking and analytical skills. Try it if you feel you can do it, in the end, the most direct and easiest way is. Snapped. Xiao Hei put his hands together, and the silver-white chakra continued to gush out, turning into silver-white spells, rushing towards the broken earth not far away. Seal Technique, Eternal Stagnation Ban. Chapter 266 Mimicry Deification. The so-called deification factor can only be possessed by the existence that has truly reached the realm of the gods. It contains a peculiar energy body that contains part of the world law. As a once deified existence, Aruka naturally knows the deification factor, even in the scientifically advanced science and technology world. There is no record of the properties of the energy body. The mythological factors that most people have never heard of, those who are rejected by the law and can only survive in the cracks of time and space, and the most advanced biological races with strong devouring instincts can smell the incomparably seductive breath contained in the mythological factors. For example, standing in front of Aruka at this time, there is a huge squirming software with dark purple skin, and on the foreheads with huge mouths that constantly flow out disgusting dark green saliva, dozens of red eyes are dying. Staring at Aruka, in the scarlet light, there was a monster with extremely strong desire. Aruka doesn't know what this monster is called. Although he has experienced dozens of resistance invasion wars in the Ku realm, the strongest of them is less than half of the oppressive feeling that the one in front of him gives him. 
In other words, this was the strongest space-time creature he had ever seen, but even so, there was no trace of panic on Aruka's face. For him now, monsters of this level do not pose any threat to him at all, or, for him, who once reached the realm of gods and possessed a part of the deification, nature, individuals in the world that can pose a threat to him, I'm afraid there is only the real god. Want to eat me? Aruka showed a sneer of disdain, and once again confronted the monsters between time and space in the Kawu interface, making his blood that had been chilled for a long time boiled again, although most of his companions who had dealt with the bloody wind on the battlefield with him in the past have already melted. It is Lois, but he has never forgotten those prosperous years. Feeling this has nothing to do with justice or evil, a truly pure battle, with no other atmosphere besides killing, a battlefield that is too familiar to be familiar, Aruka habitually takes a deep breath, and after a while, it blends into the deification factor, showing a lightness. The golden ray of chakra slowly poured out of the body, and in an instant a light golden halo was plated on Aruka's body, sacred and powerful. As the chakra refined under the full power flowed out, layers of golden lines slowly appeared on Aruka's scar face, carrying the mysterious aura from ancient times, and the entire space was filled with energy around Aruka's body. Violent shock. Shinto. Mimicry deification. An extremely strong pressure suddenly centered on Aruka, and swept around madly. For a moment, really only a moment, this piece of power erupted with Aruka's full strength and the terrifying energy contained in the behemoth itself. The raging and extremely unstable space becomes an alien space completely isolated from the outside world. Under the perception of the force field, the form of spatial faults slowly emerged in his mind. Aruka maintained the state of being able to barely maintain the consciousness of being a human, and using the power closest to God, slowly speaking the unfinished words discourse. Then block everything about you. Roar. The beast roared, and dozens of scarlet eyes suddenly burst out with a dazzling glare. The next moment, countless red light beams flew towards Aruka in midair with extremely strong sound. Wherever they passed, the space barriers shattered one after another, and a turbulent flow of space that could completely shatter all matter instantly appeared in the gaps in the space, constantly tearing the surrounding space barriers. The energy burst of the giant beast directly caused the turbulence of the space. It is conceivable that if this space turned into a battlefield is not separated from the original time and space, and the power within the giant beast is allowed to explode, what a terrible disaster will be caused. An overwhelming beam of light appeared around Aruka's body in an instant. Facing the terrifying power that could tear the space, Aruka calmly raised his hand and pressed his hands together, accompanied by the continuous golden lines on the back of the hand. Flickering, under the chakra surge, the spiritual realm ran wildly. Hengshin. As the technique was launched, all the light beams trembled violently. The next moment, only an uncomfortable, squeak, sound was heard, and the light beams suddenly turned into starbursts and disappeared into the air. Advertisement. After the beast's attack was wiped out, Aruka suddenly raised his right hand. Following his movements, a strong golden light suddenly appeared behind him. The golden light quickly converged into a light curtain engraved with several complicated surgical styles, and then the operation in the course of the operation, countless extremely sharp light blades slowly emerged from the ripples of the light curtain. Floating life 10,000 ren. Aruka raised his right hand with a horizontal wave, and the light blade in the light curtain suddenly shot out, and at ten times the speed of the beam shot by the behemoth before, it instantly landed on the behemoth's powerful flesh that can withstand the tearing of space. Wow, the giant beast only had time to let out a miserable howl, and its huge body was turned into fragments under the ravages of the light blade in a moment. The dark green blood left a huge wave in midair, which fell on the ground and turned into a violent wave. The torrents, extremely corrosive, turned all the surfaces they touched into white smoke, which was extremely terrifying. The outcome seems to have been determined, but Aruka did not relieve the risky mimicry and deification, and then as if holding up the whole world, raised his hands high, all the golden inscriptions on his body burst out with dazzling golden light, making Aruka at this moment like a scorching sun. Generally, the light is brilliant. Obviously, Aruka did not intend to stop, but was preparing for a technique that was obviously more powerful than the previous attack. Although this is his first battle with such a giant, Aruka can only judge the approximate strength of the giant through force field perception, and cannot determine the specific ability and nature of the giant, but since it is a giant that feeds on deification factors the beast is absolutely impossible to be killed so easily. As if to confirm Aruka's judgment, a series of weird distortions suddenly appeared in the air where there was nothing. Then the giant beast fragments and dark green blood on the ground were attracted by a powerful suction force, and it rushed into the air. A clear outline was formed in an instant. Aruka, who had been expecting it long ago, was not surprised at this, turning a blind eye to the behemoth that was gradually returning to its original state. The movement did not stop at all. Chakra crazily gathered towards his hands, with several golden art patterns encircling his palm. After a while, with a loud roar, terrifying energy gathered in the ugly and powerful body, the giant beast was completely resurrected, and the space stripped out of the world once again ushered in the ravages of more violent energy than before. The degree of fragmentation of the space barrier suddenly intensified, and under the turmoil of time and space, the clang of space fragmentation became clear and audible. At this speed, I am afraid that in less than a minute, this piece of space will be completely destroyed, and it will be completely shattered by the turbulence of time and space. After being completely resurrected, the four huge heads of the giant beast opened its blood plate and mouth at the same time, revealing dozens of rows of sharp teeth exuding cold light. The deep purple void crack that suddenly appeared in front of the giant beast slammed into it. 
The generation of the void crack is two-way, and the location of the other void crack is impressively around Aruka's body. Aruka can even smell the stench in the big mouth of the behemoth's blood basin through the void crack. Aruka still did not show the slightest panic on the attack of the giant beast that was too fast to react. It was not because of the time he did not respond, but because of the technique he prepared while the giant beast was resurrected. It's almost over. Drink. Aruka suddenly yelled. The next moment, as the spirit realm was running wildly, the force field and the super gravity space were generated instantly, making the behemoth's movements suddenly stagnant, and then the golden inscription on Aruka seemed to have come to life and left instantly. Aruka's body surface, flying towards the giant beast at a very fast speed, the inscription suddenly enlarged in midair, and when it fell on the body surface of the giant beast, it had become a huge inscription of tens of meters, and the entire body of the beast was completely covered in an instant. When the last inscription fell on the giant beast, Aruka suddenly stretched out his hands, and then seemed to be squeezing something hard. The backs of both hands and hands were blue veins, and bursts of golden light burst out of the palms. In less than a breath, a piece of right was formed. A hexahedral translucent block, Shinto, Annihilation. Chapter 267 I'm not returning, just passing by. After the behemoth was completely transformed into nothingness with the dissipation of the golden inscription, Aruka lifted the mimicry and deified state, and then urged only a small half of chakra to quickly create personal reality under the operation of the spiritual realm. Secret technique, gravity cut. The hand knife was swung lightly, and it was this seemingly feeble action that the slash released instantly cut through the space, creating a small space-time tunnel. Aruka didn't even look at this space that was about to turn into nothingness, and walked directly into the space-time tunnel. When his figure appeared at the other end of the space-time tunnel, the place where he entered the site had already become the battlefield of the Ku community. Uniquely, because it is full of countless substances harmful to the human body, it presents a gray sky, and a woman who is suspended in midair and dressed in dream arms. Looking at the familiar figure in midair, Aruka's mouth raised slightly, slowly revealing an imperceptible wry smile. Is that you? A completely different language from the ninja world, a familiar tone rang in the ears. Compared to the pure battle that didn't require thinking when facing the giant beast just now, this woman who was much weaker than the giant beast made Aruka's mind changed. There was no answer for a while, until the woman asked again with faint expectation that he came back to his senses. Sorry, I don't know what you are talking about. Aruka subconsciously denied it, but as soon as he said it, Aruka regretted it. Because what he just used was the lingua franca of the Kuwu community, and his identity at this time was a strange visitor from a different time and space, but he could speak the Kuwu community's lingua franca. What does this mean? I can think of it with my leg hair. Sure enough, after hearing Aruka's answer, two small dimples appeared at the corner of Mengian's mouth, revealing the smile that was in the deepest part of Aruka's soul at that moment. Long time no see, why you? It is determined by the manifestation of the spiritual realm of the force field that Aruka is the era terminator who was given the name, why you? because it was judged to be the most likely to reach the realm of the gods. It was too arbitrary to end the chaotic old era. After all, even if inferred by countless scientists in the Ku community, there will never be a second one with the ability to control the force field. However, now, after spitting out the language of the Ku community in Aruka's mouth, Meng Yin could already be 100% sure that the man in front of him who looked strange, but who could feel the breath that made her dreams, was Wa Yu himself. Intuition, evidence, and flaws revealed by Aruka made him have to face the woman in front of him who once ended his life once again, and even made the idea he had always insisted on become meaningless. Click. The red high strength mecha lightly landed on the ground. The next moment, with a mechanical sound of, ka ka ka, dream arms turned into a blood red broadsword in a moment. With a loud bang, the blade pierced the ground fiercely, and then Meng Yin, wearing only casual clothes without any defensive effect, stood in front of Aruka without reservation. Unexpectedly, the man who made my sister Xian Yin and those messy women crazily fascinated back then turned into this frustrated appearance, but there is more to say than the sea, but Meng Yin feels that there is only one thing that should be said right now. She slowly stretched out her hand to Aruka. The smiling face that is not a magnificent, but incomparably beautiful and charming is filled with moving heart. S. Smile. Welcome back, my love. However, Looking at the slightly pale palm in front of him, Aruka frowned inexplicably. Although he did not deny the fact that he was, Wayu, after revealing the flaws, this does not mean that he held Mengin again. Hand position. Aruka didn't show the slightest hesitation on his face. With his hands in his pants kabuto, there was no sign of movement. Obviously, he rejected Meng Yin. It is not because of the so-called change of thinking. Although Izumi is indeed more beautiful than Yumi in terms of appearance, Aruka is more beautiful than Izumi in the face. At the same time, he is the only woman who can be called the most beautiful, Uchiha Shuanyu at the time, he was still able to face without changing his color. From this point, it can be seen that he is not a scumbag who likes the new and dislikes the old. There is only one reason for rejecting the invitation of Mengin. It's not coming back, and it's impossible to come back. Aruka looked directly into Mengin's eyes, without a trace of guilty conscience only when lying. The world, sooner or later, will return to the real passers-by. Advertisement. Hearing this, Meng Yin's Zhao body trembled suddenly, and the smile that she would only show when facing Hua Yu froze on her face. Dot 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 dot. 
Pouch. With a clear and incomparable sound of cutting into the flesh, in the dim stalactite cave, a man with gray skin, a pair of eyes that only cold-blooded animals can have, and a chilling snake grows on his belly. With endless unwillingness, he slowly fell to the ground. Crackling. The man's body is left with pulsating blue and white arcs, and the source of those arcs. Bring your ambitions and leave this world that doesn't need you. The indifferent voice, the handsome face, the crimson dagger, and the ability to manipulate thunder and lightning at will, there is only one existence that combines these characteristics, and that is the boy who tried to use a powerful force to completely end the ninja era Uchiha Sasuke. In order to control the man lying on the ground, let him release the scarlet eyes of forbidden technique that he was using and caused some trouble to Quan Mei and the others on the ground. After slowly returning to the original blackness, Sasuke raised his hand, the scarlet in his hand. With a strong wave of Yin Zifeng, the air suddenly twisted in a crimson light, forming a space-time tunnel in an instant. But, damn it ah 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 ah, the heart was pierced, the body was imprisoned by lightning, and the man who could do nothing but wait for death roared with great resentment, but Sasuke didn't even look at him, but bought his footsteps without hesitation. Walking into the space-time tunnel, it disappeared completely in the air in a moment. Yep, Xiao He looked at the impure world reincarnation ninjas who were clearly not bound by the gravitational field, but suddenly stopped acting in a puzzled way. Before she could figure out what was going on, the bodies of those ninjas suddenly emitted a soft light. A moment later, their bodies suddenly turned into a pile of crushed earth with a blackened strange corpse, and the soft light gathered into a translucent soul body, slowly rising in the sky. Those soul bodies are obviously the deceased by impure world reincarnation. They have no impression of Izumi and others. Naturally, they will not have any nostalgia for this place. They will ascend to heaven in an instant, and the light that envelops them will also dissipate, and everything will be once again. Be at peace. Crescent Moon and Izumi looked at Xiao He in surprise, and asked in unison. Did you? Are you blind? Xiao He curled his lips irritably, this obviously has nothing to do with me. If I could forcibly remove the forbidden technique that insulted the dead, would I still spend so much effort to seal them? Then what's going on? The ghost knows. While they were speaking, a familiar voice from Izumi and Zanyu suddenly came, interrupting their discussion. This voice, is Izumi and Xuanyu. Upon hearing this, the three women stopped discussing immediately, and at the same time looked in the direction of the sound. After a while, the expressions of Izumi and Xuanyu suddenly became complicated. I saw that beside the pile of debris left by the dead of impure world reincarnation, a blind man with his eyes closed and seemed to have lost his sight was standing quietly, facing the direction of the three women, with a handsome face. A trace of confusion can be clearly seen, and it seems that he himself can't figure out his own situation at this time. Chapter 268. Regarding the recent update speed. I must know that this is the graduation season. As a senior, I have reached a critical juncture facing the graduation reply. For the broken diploma, I can only. Sorry everyone, but it will be even better. I will never be an eunuch. Please come in and have a look if you have time. Comma 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 comma. A few days ago, the Hundred Nations Summit on how to deal with many of the world's problems today, held in Imunsen, the sacred capital of Bunita, ended perfectly, although our great savior Mengin did not participate on behalf of the Axis powers because of physical discomfort. The meeting, but the performance of Master Shenian who attended the meeting was not much inferior to Master Mengin, and it is expected to become. In a high-grade coffee shop, I cut my short hair and waxed it. Uruka, who looks like a successful man in a suit and leather shoes, held the coffee, took a sip, and felt the unsweetened coffee in his mouth. While looking at the news anchor on the screen not far away, he proudly introduced the screen of the stringy tone that has always appeared in various international occasions instead of the inexplicably unwell Mengin recently. Inexplicably, with some emotion. The girl who didn't have any independent opinions and only knew that she was meticulously carrying out the tasks she gave her was now a big figure who was followed by countless people in every move, and although he left a strong fortune in history, but not a good reputation. The destiny of human beings is really unpredictable. Ms. Aruka, a weak cry came from the opposite side, which made Aruka stop sighing, looked over, and suddenly saw Changpu, who was wearing a lavender dress and a white hat with a gentle temperament on his head, was looking at him with an uneasy expression on his face. What's wrong? How long shall we stay here? I, Changpu hesitated, but gritted his teeth and continued. I'm a bit homesick. Hearing this, Aruka couldn't help but his face was bitter, and his eyes were full of apologetics when he looked at Changpu. Although he possessed the power to protect the Calamus perfectly, he could not bring the Calamus anything other than a sense of security. You must know that in life, Wuyu is complete without food and clothing. After all, what people need to live is not only material. The reason why Calamus appears in this world where there is a huge gap between the language and the culture of the Hokage world, Aruka has an inescapable responsibility, and he can compensate only with trivial protection. The spiritual emptiness of Calamus is revealed from time to time. After falling out of silence, Aruka could do nothing at all. It's been three months since I came to this world. Although Aruka took her around in order to revitalize the less and less energetic Calamus, but it was useless. Because of the language barrier, she couldn't be like Aruka. Adapt to this world easily. Although the world of Kawu is much larger and more colorful than the world of ninjas, only Aruka can talk to her, and Aruka is not a good talker. It is strange that a Yame can be more energetic. Sorry, Changpu, although I have been looking for a way back, but... Aruka's face was full of guilt. 
Hearing this, Cheng Pu's face suddenly darkened. Although she lived here, Wu Yu, and was accompanied by someone she liked, the strangeness in her heart and the rejection of strange things still occupied most of her heart. Advertisement. Although he wanted to leave this world that he didn't belong to as soon as possible, Cheng Pu shook his head understandingly after seeing the guilt on Aruka's face, and said with a gentle expression. It's okay. Mr. Aruka, although I can't go back for the time being, I believe you will find a way back. I'll wait for it with peace of mind. If you really can't go back, I believe Mr. Aruka will take care of me too. For a lifetime. Ayame did not mean to blame Aruka in his words. However, compared to her gentleness, Aruka hopes that Ayame can be a little bit willful, even if it is a few complaints. This will make Aruka feel better in his heart and let one fall into a strange world. The suffering girl came to comfort herself, how could Aruka be happy? Shaking his head, Aruka sighed and said nothing. He no longer knows how to face Chengpu's extremely gentle face. What he can do for her now is to take care of her wholeheartedly, but to try his best to find a way back. After delaying for a day, the guilt in his heart would increase. After only three months, the heavy guilt made him feel a little bit out of breath. Since Mengin Sama led the Alliance army to crusade against the Kodo beast and was injured three months ago, there has been no news. Could it be that? Shut up. Master Mengin is the strongest superpower in the world. How could the savior who bears the hope of all of us die in the hands of a strange beast? Don't blame me for talking nonsense. Quote dot 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 quote. The topic a couple were talking about caught Aruka's attention a little bit. Although he had already told Mengin famously that he didn't want to get involved with the world and everyone, including her, as soon as he heard, Mengin, with this word, Aruka still can't be like Shisui. He naturally knows the reason why Mengin has not had any news, even if it can only be used in a mimicry and deified state, he can perceive the sound of all things in the whole world, and he can easily guess the movement of Mengin at this time. The official said he was recuperating in the hospital because he was injured in the fighting. Apart from other things, the reason alone is enough nonsense for Aruka. You must know that the man who fought against the giant named Kodoman was him from start to finish, and had nothing to do with Mengin, recuperate a fart. However, knowing that Guigi knows, Aruka has no plans to meet Mengin again. Already eight years ago, the person who stood on the opposite side of the world and concentrated all the hatred of the world into one body, and was about to become immortal in loneliness and pain, and the Waiu who stepped into the realm of emptiness has completely become the past, and now appears here, just a passerby from the ninja world. In his mind, there is a very clear concept he is Aruka, a stranger who has never had any intersection with the savior of this world. It wasn't to blame Mengin for his betrayal. He never resented Mengian's choice. After all, if he had a bit of resentment, he would not let Mengian's betrayal without any secret of his intentions eight years ago. That's right, eight years ago, when the Kuo community changed from a long state of self-destruction to the fact that many countries lay down their weapons and use equal conversations to solve problems and gradually move towards a peaceful era, it is also an opportunity that will inevitably be recorded in the annals of history. In the event God's fall, it is not so much that Mengin killed her lover with his own hands for the future of the world, but rather that the man closest to God chose to self-destruct after perceiving a certain possibility. Compared with the boring world that I planned originally, although it is perfect, there is not a trace of what I can look forward to. The world that Mengin chose, although it still has many problems and defects, but appears to be vibrant, is obviously the owner. Really looking forward to the future. This fact proves the correctness of Mengin's choice, but also dissipates the last trace of unwillingness that remained in Aruka's heart. Everything in Waiu has been turned into the cornerstone of the times, and there is nothing worthy of nostalgia. This point will not be changed by meeting Mengin again. In his thoughts, Aruka suddenly felt the five golden orbs in his body that were originally well-behaved, myth factor inexplicably restless, before he could react, a strange girl's voice suddenly sounded in the depths of his soul. Master, can you hear me? Chapter 269 After temporarily depriving everyone of their consciousness, Mengin slowly retracted his hand, and then looked calmly at the man in front of him who, although strange, could feel the breath that made him dreamy. You finally came. Like Mengin, Aruka's face is also extremely calm, as if facing an ordinary beautiful woman instead of a former lover. Yep, the distance within reach, but because of each other's current belonging, has become a corner of the world. The two of them just stared at each other, and no one spoke. Perhaps they didn't know where to speak, or what to say, or they were all enjoying the last piece that belonged to them, who knew? Hoo hoo hoo. The gust of wind howled, rolling up countless gravel, turned into a stream of wind and sand that obscured the sky, but for the two who had long been able to ignore the threat of nature, it had no effect at all. Everything around the two of them was as if time had stopped. In general, there is no change. The only thing that can make people feel the passage of time is what they can feel, the rhythm of each other's breathing. In the violent wind and sand, a flash of red light suddenly flashed, and then the dream weapon that once again turned into a big sword fell from the sky and slammed into the sand between the two. The dazzling red light of the sword gradually dimmed, but Mengian's breathing gradually became thicker. You are messed up. Yeah, I'm messed up. Without denying it, Mengin moved a little forward, and then slowly stretched out her hand, as if she wanted to touch the shoulder that should belong to her again, but in the end, her hand still fell on the sword of the red big sword that was gathered by fantasy arms. Handle. Seeing you, how can I not be messy? But you shouldn't be messy. Aruka pushed back a step, her face was still extremely calm, even her voice did not feel the slightest emotional fluctuation, your body is carrying everyone's expectations, and everyone's feelings are gathered together. 
hope, and the future of the entrusted world, and I am an alien from other planes. No matter what purpose I have for this world, whether it is kind or malicious, you should not face me chaos, even a hint of hesitation shouldn't exist. Really, Mengin stared at Uruka, as if to confirm something. Yes, Uruka confirmed without hesitation, this determination, while confirming the current position of the two, also completely shattered Mengian's last hope. Really? So, a sorrowful smile appeared on Mengian's face, whispering, and slowly let go of the jade hand holding the dream weapon, as if he had lost everything, and fell down. A trace of unbearable flashed in Aruka's eyes, but he was quickly controlled by him, and his original calm was restored almost instantaneously. Why? Click. Mengin squeezed the dream weapon again, and then suddenly pulled it out, holding it flat, with the tip of the sword pointed directly at Aruka's chest, her pretty face was full of tears. Why me? Why didn't you choose someone else? I didn't have any plan to hide you at the beginning. Why must I kill you with my own hands? Why should I be burdened with such a heavy burden? Why can't it be someone else? Tell me why am I? The dream arms once again flashed a red glow containing terrifying energy, and the violent energy directly shredded Aruka's shirt, and made several red sword marks on Aruka's chest. The golden light flashed, and the scar on Aruka's chest disappeared instantly, as if it had never appeared before. Because you are the only one I can trust. Under the violent energy raging, the storm became even more crazier, as if it was about to set off the entire earth, causing the earth to continue to appear crazily spreading cracks, countless boulders were drawn into the air, and then just suspended in the air, and never fell again. Without coming down, gravity seemed to have completely lost its effect at this moment. Except for the place where the two were standing, there was no better place within a radius of several hundred meters. And this is nothing more than unconscious destruction caused by the power leaked under the emotional instability of Meng Yin. After a long time, Meng Yin's expression gradually returned to calm. Trust. Advertisement. Self-deprecating smile. Meng Yin stepped backwards slumpingly, and then slumped weakly on the ground, the dream weapon was thrown aside at random, the tear-stained pretty face was full of pale color. No. That's not trust, it's just your selfishness, selfishness keeps me alive, in order to prevent me from committing suicide, avoid the pain of losing important things, forcibly let me bear everyone's expectations and bear the whole world, you I have died without regrets, leaving me alone to endure the unspeakable pain and face the future without you, why you? Mengin grabbed her chest, forcibly suppressing the constant struggle inside, wanting to break through her chest, her pretty face full of tears, full of suppressing her true inner pain. You are so selfish and cruel. Maybe. Aruka turned around and turned her back to Mengin, so Mengin couldn't see her expression at the moment, her weakness and the shaking hidden in it, and at the same time she tried her best to make her tone as calm as possible. But that's just the past that has become meaningless. Your obsession should disappear with Wayu's death, instead of self-defeating and abandoning yourself like now. You have the meaning of your existence, where you belong, and your life. It's the same with me. The so-called life is to move on the path that we should have embarked on. Therefore, our lives in different worlds should not have intersections anymore, so. A golden halo gradually covered Aruka's body, and the directions of all the surrounding force fields changed. This was a precursor to Aruka's ability to activate. This is the final farewell. Forget the past and move on to a new path. Hey, dead cat, can Aruka really come back through this deification factor? Why do I always feel bottomless? Izumi pointed to a golden ball of light emitting a dazzling light not far away, and rushed to the side of Chakra, which was very similar to Aruka, to maintain the ball of light in suspension, and asked Blackie, who was constantly releasing light golden spells, worried about gains and losses. Looks like, how many times do you want me to answer? This is a solid form of power formed by a combination of one-sixth of the master's soul and Chakra in some way. It can achieve a perfect connection with the master. As the master's summoning beast, I naturally reverse summoning technique can be achieved through this connection. But, no but, but, no but, but. Damn, find the fault, right? You muscular girl with harder muscles than a rock. What are you talking about? Make it clear, who is a muscular woman with harder muscles than a rock? Except for you, who specializes in physical skills, who else has an ugly woman whose brain is full of muscles? Huh, the master hasn't touched you until now. You must be disgusted with your muscular hardiness and no feel. Very well, dead cat, it's time to let our grievances come to an end. Come with me, I don't care how much Aruka spoils you, this time I must let you know what it means to be superior and inferior. Come on. Whoever is afraid of whom. Quote dot 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 quote. Shuang Yu looked at the two beautiful girls in front of him with a speechless face, but she had no plan to stop them. After all, they are all girls who have a great relationship with Aruka, and the contradiction between them can only be regarded as Aruka's family conflicts, and she is just an outsider, not even qualified to interrupt. Just when the two rolled up their sleeves and made an appointment to walk towards the grove not far away. Click. The deification factor trembled suddenly and violently. Upon seeing this, Xiao He's face suddenly condensed, and he ignored Azumi's fight, and suddenly put his hands together, and the silver white chakra quickly poured out of the body, rushing toward the deification factor. This is a process of recharging. When the deified factor absorbed enough chakra with similar attributes, a burst of golden light burst into the sky, and the pale gold inscription quickly flew towards Xiao He. 
Xiao He made a decisive decision, bit his finger, gathered chakra in his hand, and after simply knotting a few spells, his blood-stained palm slapped to the ground fiercely. Summoning Technique, Reverse Summoning Technique. Chapter 270 Summoning Technique. After temporarily depriving everyone of their consciousness, Mengin slowly retracted his hand, and then looked calmly at the man in front of him who, although strange, could feel the breath that made him dreamy. You finally came. Like Mengin, Aruka's face is also extremely calm, as if facing an ordinary beautiful woman instead of a former lover. Yep, the distance within reach, but because of each other's current belonging, has become a corner of the world. The two of them just stared at each other, and no one spoke. Perhaps they didn't know where to speak, or what to say, or they were all enjoying the last piece that belonged to them, who knew? Hoo hoo hoo. The gust of wind howled, rolling up countless gravel, turned into a stream of wind and sand that obscured the sky, but for the two who had long been able to ignore the threat of nature, it had no effect at all. Everything around the two of them was as if time had stopped. In general, there is no change. The only thing that can make people feel the passage of time is what they can feel, the rhythm of each other's breathing. In the violent wind and sand, a flash of red light suddenly flashed, and then the dream weapon that once again turned into a big sword fell from the sky and slammed into the sand between the two. The dazzling red light of the sword gradually dimmed, but Mengian's breathing gradually became thicker. You are messed up. Yeah, I'm messed up. Without denying it, Mengin moved a little forward, and then slowly stretched out her hand, as if she wanted to touch the shoulder that should belong to her again, but in the end, her hand still fell on the sword of the red big sword that was gathered by fantasy arms. Handle. Seeing you, how can I not be messy? But you shouldn't be messy. Uruka pushed back a step, her face was still extremely calm, even her voice did not feel the slightest emotional fluctuation, your body is carrying everyone's expectations, and everyone's feelings are gathered together. Hope, and the future of the entrusted world, and I am an alien from other planes. No matter what purpose I have for this world, whether it is kind or malicious, you should not face me chaos, even a hint of hesitation shouldn't exist. Really, Mengin stared at Uruka, as if to confirm something. Yes, Uruka confirmed without hesitation, this determination, while confirming the current position of the two, also completely shattered Mengin's last hope. Really? So, a sorrowful smile appeared on Mengin's face, whispering, and slowly let go of the jade hand holding the dream weapon, as if he had lost everything, and fell down. A trace of unbearable flashed in Aruka's eyes, but he was quickly controlled by him, and his original calm was restored almost instantaneously. Why? Click. Mengin squeezed the dream weapon again, and then suddenly pulled it out, holding it flat, with the tip of the sword pointed directly at Aruka's chest, her pretty face was full of tears. Why me? Why didn't you choose someone else? I didn't have any plan to hide you at the beginning. Why must I kill you with my own hands? Why should I be burdened with such a heavy burden? Why can't it be someone else? Tell me why am I? The dream arms once again flashed a red glow containing terrifying energy, and the violent energy directly shredded Aruka's shirt, and made several red sword marks on Aruka's chest. The golden light flashed, and the scar on Aruka's chest disappeared instantly, as if it had never appeared before. Because you are the only one I can trust. Under the violent energy raging, the storm became even more crazier, as if it was about to set off the entire earth, causing the earth to continue to appear crazily spreading cracks, countless boulders were drawn into the air, and then just suspended in the air, and never fell again. Without coming down, gravity seemed to have completely lost its effect at this moment. Except for the place where the two were standing, there was no better place within a radius of several hundred meters. And this is nothing more than unconscious destruction caused by the power leaked under the emotional instability of Meng Yin. After a long time, Meng Yin's expression gradually returned to calm. Trust. Advertisement. Self-deprecating smile. Meng Yin stepped backwards slumpingly, and then slumped weakly on the ground, the dream weapon was thrown aside at random, the tear-stained pretty face was full of pale color. No. That's not trust, it's just your selfishness, selfishness keeps me alive, in order to prevent me from committing suicide, avoid the pain of losing important things, forcibly let me bear everyone's expectations and bear the whole world, you I have died without regrets, leaving me alone to endure the unspeakable pain and face the future without you, why you? Mengin grabbed her chest, forcibly suppressing the constant struggle inside, wanting to break through her chest, her pretty face full of tears, full of suppressing her true inner pain. You are so selfish and cruel. Maybe. Aruka turned around and turned her back to Mengin, so Mengin couldn't see her expression at the moment, her weakness and the shaking hidden in it, and at the same time she tried her best to make her tone as calm as possible. But that's just the past that has become meaningless. Your obsession should disappear with Waiu's death, instead of self-defeating and abandoning yourself like now. You have the meaning of your existence, where you belong, and your life. It's the same with me. The so-called life is to move on the path that we should have embarked on. Therefore, our lives in different worlds should not have intersections anymore, so. A golden halo gradually covered Aruka's body, and the directions of all the surrounding force fields changed. This was a precursor to Aruka's ability to activate. This is the final farewell. Forget the past and move on to a new path. Hey, dead cat, can Aruka really come back through this deification factor? Why do I always feel bottomless? Izumi pointed to a golden ball of light emitting a dazzling light not far away, 
and rushed to the side of Chakra, which was very similar to Aruka, to maintain the ball of light in suspension, and asked Blackie, who was constantly releasing light golden spells, worried about gains and losses. Looks like, how many times do you want me to answer? This is a solid form of power formed by a combination of one-sixth of the master's soul and chakra in some way. It can achieve a perfect connection with the master. As the master's summoning beast, I naturally reverse summoning technique can be achieved through this connection. But, no but, but, no but, but. Damn, find the fault, right? You muscular girl with harder muscles than a rock. What are you talking about? Make it clear, who is a muscular woman with harder muscles than a rock? Except for you, who specializes in physical skills, who else has an ugly woman whose brain is full of muscles? Huh, the master hasn't touched you until now. You must be disgusted with your muscular hardiness and no feel. Very well, dead cat, it's time to let our grievances come to an end. Come with me, I don't care how much Aruka spoils you, this time I must let you know what it means to be superior and inferior. Come on, whoever is afraid of whom? Quote dot 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 quote. Xuan Yu looked at the two beautiful girls in front of him with a speechless face, but she had no plan to stop them. After all, they are all girls who have a great relationship with Aruka, and the contradiction between them can only be regarded as Aruka's family conflicts, and she is just an outsider, not even qualified to interrupt. Just when the two rolled up their sleeves and made an appointment to walk towards the grove not far away. Click. The deification factor trembled suddenly and violently. Upon seeing this, Xiao He's face suddenly condensed, and he ignored Azumi's fight, and suddenly put his hands together, and the silver-white chakra quickly poured out of the body, rushing toward the deification factor. This is a process of recharging. When the deified factor absorbed enough chakra with similar attributes, a burst of golden light burst into the sky, and the pale gold inscription quickly flew towards Xiao He. Xiao He made a decisive decision, bit his finger, gathered chakra in his hand, and after simply nodding a few spells, his blood-stained palm slapped to the ground fiercely. Summoning Technique, Reverse Summoning Technique Chapter 271, Attitude. The age of ninjas is over. After returning to Konoha, Aruka was called by Tsunade and Jiraiya to the former Hokage office, and now the, Konoha headquarters office, without any formalities of reunion after a long absence, Tsunade said straightforwardly. More than three months ago, Sasuke suddenly launched a worldwide ninjutsu, forcibly depriving almost all ninjas of their power. Although Naruto and the others found the headquarters of Sasuke's organization, Naruto was defeated by Sasuke. He did not know his life or death. People can't resist Sasuke's power. They are still controlled by Sasuke. Since then, no one in the ninja world can stop Sasuke's actions. Now, the Gokage, including me, and Jiraiya have been famous for a long time. All of the ninjas completely lost their power and became ordinary people. Your students are really amazing. They directly subverted the ninja system in just one month. After a pause, Jiraiya continued without sorrow or joy. Thanks to him, strength is no longer the benchmark of personal value, and the sacrifice of ninjas is no longer needed to maintain peace in the village. In other words, for generations the era of peace pursued, with the end of the ninja era, has finally come completely. Is it? Aruka raised the teacup, took a sip, and then held the teacup in this way, walked to the window sill, staring at the flow of people underneath which was obviously much less than before, with a calm expression on his face. The world's biggest problem has been solved, and it sounds like a thing to be happy about, but why can't I feel any joy at all in the two of you? Is it because you are reluctant to give up power? Tsunade shook his head and denied Aruka's problem, but did not explain. Instead, he pulled out a file from his desk, opened it and handed it to Aruka. Look at this first. What is this? Aruka took the file and took a look. The next moment, he was stunned, and as if expecting his normal reaction, Tsunade sighed and said gravely. List of Konoha Shinobi who committed suicide last month. Looking at the hundreds of names on the form, Aruka frowned. Although they were all unfamiliar names, it did not mean that Aruka would be indifferent to them. Jiraiya sighed and said with great regret. For some ninjas, chakra and ninjutsu are their everything, the only reason to live, and they can't use chakra. If they lose their qualifications as ninjas, they are equivalent to losing their own existence, although Tsunade and I have long lived. At the age of pursuing those things, even if they lose their power, they will only feel a little emotional, but they are different, they suddenly lose their dreams, and it is natural for them to do stupid things under extremely confused conditions. Is it? Aruka put down the file, her expression a little complicated. This is just one of the many problems in the era created by Uchiha Sasuke. Other problems such as the stay and employment of the original ninja after the disintegration of Ninja Village, the system of various countries, and the commercial system are becoming more and more serious. Although Uchiha Sasuke can use absolute power puts an end to all darkness, but his power cannot shorten the distance between people in each other's hearts. If this status quo develops, click, Aruka put the teacup on the windowsill and interrupted before Tsunade's words were finished. There are two possibilities. One is that although the world does not have any darkness, it will not have any color. It will only be in more and more blank substances. In the spirit and spirit, step into decline, the other is to overcome all difficulties, as time goes by, slowly heal the wound, and finally usher in a new life, and no matter what the result, the world will completely step into peace. The only difference is the form of peace. Upon hearing this, Jiraiya and Tsunade nodded at the same time. Advertisement. Is that what you focused on cultivating Sasuke? 
That's it. Aruka shrugged and put the form back on the desk, her expression regained as relaxed as before. The new era is full of uncertainty. Even I don't know whether the era created by Sasuke is good or bad. I don't even know if this is the final appearance of the era. The future is full of uncertainty. I am just an observer. Although I am in this world, I will not use my own will to influence the future of this world. I will only see with my own eyes, so don't expect me to change the status quo. That's absolutely impossible. Even if Sasuke's actions will make the world riddled with holes, or even fall into an abyss that will never be restored, I will not stop him. Without waiting for Jiraiya and Tsunade to say why they were so eager to find themselves, Aruka directly expressed his attitude. After hearing his words, they were not surprised at all on their faces, but with an expression of, it is true. Is there no room for negotiation? No. Aruka replied decisively, and then said, I can't do anything to my students. This is the trust I should have in my students. I believe they can perfectly complete the tasks I entrusted to them. In the end, at the end, hand me an answer sheet that satisfies me. Noting that Aruka's words did not only mention Sasuke, who has become the protagonist of this era, Jiraiya frowned. Are you still looking forward to Naruto? Although he is only missing, he hasn't returned to the village yet, I'm afraid. The result hasn't come out yet, and everything is still full of variables. It's too early to conclude. Naruto is a child who can often bring me, surprise. I will always look forward to that child's activity until I am sure that the dust settles. Quote. With these words, Aruka left. He and Jiraiya are not particularly acquainted. At least he hasn't gotten acquainted with Jiraiya to the point where he would entertain guests and drink tea when he meets on the road. He has no interest in Tsunade, a grandmother who is more than 50. Even if they haven't seen each other for a few months, he has nothing to talk with them. Unlike ordinary ninjas, even if Sasuke's technique that covers the entire world will always run automatically, Aruka will not be affected at all, so when Aruka uses the body flicker technique to leave, absolutely no one in the entire world can stop him. Oh, it seems we can only wait for the final result quietly. Jiraiya shook his head, looking helpless. Dot 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 dot. After leaving the Konoha General Administration office, Aruka did not rush back to the teacher's apartment, which had become deserted, but instead used his abilities and flew towards the land of thunder. With his current strength, in less than half a minute, he appeared in the sky above a certain mountain peak in the Kingdom of Thunder, and the moment he appeared, he stood on the top of the peak, with black hair standing straight against the violent cold wind of the mountain. The boy suddenly raised his head, his eyes that had lost focus gradually returned to the look that a person should have. Ms. Aruka, you are here. Ah, Aruka was not surprised that Sasuke was able to perceive his existence instantly. It would be strange if he could not perceive him. After a chuckle, Aruka's figure flashed and appeared in front of Sasuke instantly. Long time no see, Sasuke. Chapter 272. The world is becoming complete, and the incomplete parts of the past are gradually being made up. If nothing else, at most two years, my philosophy can be thoroughly implemented. Sitting on the edge of the cliff, Sasuke said in dissatisfaction. His face did not have the slightest joy of achieving the goal, nor was there any confusion. However, Aruka could see something familiar from his expressionless face. S. Things. Isn't this great? Aruka smiled inexplicably, and said softly, everyone's existence affects the world all the time, but there are very few people who can really decide the future direction of the world with their own will. Xiao, as a teacher, I can teach a student who decides the fate of the world, I am very pleased to say now. Aruka has no intention to influence Sasuke's will with his own power or status as a mentor, which is not commensurate with such a serious topic, and with a peaceful chat-like tone, even though Sasuke's persistence is very similar to his persistence in the previous life. After accidentally returning to the world of science and warfare before, and seeing with his own eyes the road that Mengin chose, which went against him, he already knew the wrongness of his persistence. The world is not complete, but it is precisely because of this that it can be all-encompassing and make the world colorful, and the complete world just follows the rules and maintains an unchanging lifestyle, without any color, blankness and powerlessness, like hair it's nothing more than a boring thing that repeats its movements monotonously like a machine. Although this conclusion is reached, it does not mean that he wants to stop Sasuke. In the final analysis, the protagonists of this era are Sasuke and Naruto. The future of the world follows everyone's obsessions towards the end, or is it the recovery after experiencing real pain is determined by their ultimate fate, and as an observer, if he forcibly intervenes, everything will become meaningless. After all, even if it is a wrong path, there is a need for it. Really, is that so? Sasuke whispered, Aruka stood up suddenly, and then, after a long time, stretched out his hand to press on Sasuke's soft black hair, rubbing it gently as he did when he admired the outstanding students in the ninja school days. Although the roads are different, you are all students I have carefully taught. No matter what choice you will make in the end and the result, I will be proud of you. So, Sasuke. After a pause, Aruka watched Sasuke raise her head in surprise, staring into her own eyes, and suddenly grinned. For the first time, it appeared that the scarred face of the earthy turtle was extremely commensurate with the sun. Smile. You are an outstanding student that I recognize. Don't have any scruples. You just need to be sure of the truest thoughts in your heart and move forward courageously according to your heart. Looking at the unprecedented sunlight on Aruka's face, Sasuke couldn't react for a while. 
You must know that in his memory of Aruka, regardless of size, Aruka's personality is not lifeless or cold, but it is definitely not compatible with the sun. It can only be regarded as careless at best. Lung, until now, did he know that the teacher he respected so much had such a side. Although he only spent a few months in the Kushu world, Aruka was able to easily judge the current situation of the Kushu world under the force field perception covering the entire world, and that was why he gave up his previous persistence and made Meng Yin his only obsession as after ideas dominate the future of the world. Yes, obsession, although before he handed over the world to Meng Yin, he realized that his ideas might deviate from the will of the world, and the practice of denying people's hearts might make the whole world extremely pale, but even so, he has persisted. His philosophy still needs a destination and a result. Even if 99% of it may be wrong, he wants to judge and witness with his own eyes. And this is the purpose of the wave of times that he guided Sasuke and Naruto to set off. He wants to find the destination of his previous ideals from the fate of Sasuke and Naruto inevitably converging at one point. However, as a visitor from another world, I have witnessed that although the Ku community is on the verge of collapse, I can clearly feel the current situation of people's expectations for tomorrow and the desire for happiness, compared to his absolute rule, although there is no in the era of threats, but nothing beautiful, Aruka's obsessions disappeared completely after not knowing how much better it was. Resulting from each other's heart, and inner liberation, allows Aruka to truly face a new lifestyle as a complete, person. Naturally, the inner feelings will not be as deficient as in the past. After a while, Sasuke came back to his senses. After taking a deep look at Aruka, he seemed to have made a decision and nodded heavily. Advertisement. I see. As he said, the color of indifference that was originally emotionless on Sasuke's face gradually disappeared, as if Aruka had gotten rid of obsession, and gradually revealed a brilliant smile. Thank you, Mrs. Aruka. However, I don't know if it is an illusion, Aruka somehow feels a sense of relief from the thank you I don't know how many times I have heard it. Aruka will not intervene in any incidents caused by his students. After all, they have grown up. His duty as a teacher is to guide, rather than always protect them with his already plump wings. If he does that, he can only become a waste generator. So even though he didn't know what decision Sasuke made secretly, he still didn't ask, but went straight back to Konoha and returned to the long-lost apartment. At the moment when he just walked in, he had not had time to sigh. Success, muscle girl, come if you have the ability, dead black cat. Whoosh whoosh. The eight kunaika flew towards Aruka at the speed of light, and after Aruka used his power to freeze it in the air, a series of, pop bang, fighting sounds suddenly sounded in the living room. Aruka's mouth suddenly twitched. Although he had known that Izumi and Shouhei's relationship was not good, he didn't expect it to be so bad. If you don't agree with each other, you will fight, where are the hostess and pets? Is it an enemy? What Aruka didn't know was that when he disappeared before, Izumi and Shouhei had to temporarily let go of their prejudices in order to find him. However, even so, they still friction and conflicts did not break out, but they have been accumulating, they are confirming that Aruka is safe. Later, their contradictory relationship was at the critical point of outbreak. Just now when Aruka connected the space through the deification factor, they almost broke up, and now, Aruka has returned safely, and they have accumulated conflicts for several months. The outbreak is strange, I say. As soon as Aruka wanted to speak, a coffee table flew towards him with a rush of breaking wind, and once again activated his ability to place the coffee table on the ground intact. Ah, the familiar exclamation, followed by a graceful figure that flew straight over like a sandbag, and was hugged by a princess Aruka. Looking at the face of the crescent moon in his arms that was amazed not only because of the inexplicable lying gun but also because of being hugged by Aruka, Aruka had an inexplicable premonition that his future life would be, extraordinarily wonderful. How difficult is the future? 